You're listening to the Michael Geeky Podcast. Mission statement for this show is to educate and inspire mushroom cultivators and enthusiasts on the art and science of mushroom cultivation while delving into the medicinal, therapeutic, and societal aspects of mushrooms, including discussions on integration therapy, spirituality, and the decriminalization movement. That's why I'm here. Uh, that, that's what motivates me. That's what I care about. Uh, if you guys like it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. Um, I appreciate it. Anyway, shout out to, uh, my, my Patreon supporters. I got, um, I got a few people I want to shout out here real quick. I'm going to shout out Outback Mycology, The Good Wook, Josh, Michael Feelings, Panic Attack 111. I'm sorry, Pan Attack, not Panic Attack. Um, though when you see his pans, you might have a panic attack. Uh, XJ11. Uh, Colton Hartzell, Bruce the Shroom, and Tepaz Huite. Oh, my bad. I missed one. And Cass. Uh, shout out to all you guys. Really appreciate your support. Um, Patreon has definitely helped me pay the bills. Patreon supporters are going to help me buy a new capture card. So uh, thank you guys very much. Now, uh, why we're all here, the one, the only, he, he's taken uh, YouTube by storm. This, this guy is an old pro when it comes to creating content on YouTube. He's been doing it for seven years. Um, and However, he is new to growing mushrooms, and he's documenting his journey. Uh, welcome, the rookie mycologist, otherwise known as Keys. What's up, what's man? Up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? Good, man. Uh, sorry, rocky start, rocky start. I guess uh, this, the internet wasn't ready. It needed a minute. It's all good. Glad to so, be here with you. Thanks for everybody go. that's watching. We appreciate you. All right. There we go. All there right, man. Is. Well, well, I remember you, the way I found out about you was you chit chatting on, on one of the podcasts. And I'm like, Oh, this guy, I like this guy. This guy's interesting. I like, I even just like his name, rookie mycologist. That's cool. So yeah, I checked that, you that's out. That's the only reason why I'm really, I don't really do too many interviews or podcasts as you know, but mm -hmm. um, I came on, one time because it was a cool thumbnail. It had a unicorn on it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what is this about? Yeah. So whenever I hit it and I just said, what's up to everybody in the chat and everybody knew who I was and everybody was so friendly. So I said, you know what? I will do that podcast. And then plus people all in my uh, video just saying, do Michael Geeky podcast, nice. do it, do it. So they I said, pressured I would do you. it. No, yeah. oh, no, it was all good. Yeah. Everybody's good, man. Here, so I'm glad to be here. That's great. Well, I love your videos. Um, they're they're simple. They're concise. They seem honest. Um, they're very relatable. Uh, a, a lot of people, uh, man, I remember back when I didn't know anything about anything. And I think one thing that sets your, your content apart is instead of it being a, a master who is now disseminating that information, uh, you know, real slick and clean. Like you just do this, you just do that. I got it all figured out, which is great. But we get to, we get to watch your journey firsthand, step by step, right? Like your first video was six months ago. You started growing six months ago. That's, that's it. a very, that's, that's unique. I love that. I think that's fantastic. Basically um, that, that's what it is. I'm just basically just being real honest. That's what I do in my, most people know me from being a 420 creator. Mm-hmm because I have uh, two 420 channels and I've already gotten 10 million views on YouTube before I started the rookie mycologist. So people know me from being a 420 creator and that's what I've always did. No matter if it's good, bad, whatever happens during the growth, you, you see it because if you watch me do it and I had to deal with it, then you learn how to do it and you can deal with it yourself. So I just been really honest and that's how I always approach YouTube is yeah. for anybody who wants to get into YouTube, you got to find whatever your hook is. And for me, I've always just find being yourself and being honest has always been my hook. So I just came into right. the mushroom game like I want to learn how to grow mushrooms. I'm going to try it out. Hopefully you guys want to learn with me. That's It's been working so far. I just Dude, hit 38,000 subscribers a couple hours ago. So that's pretty cool. 
Dude, two days ago, I looked because I was keeping track of, you know, what we're going to talk about and what I'm going to say. And like two days ago, it was 36,000. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, I'm like, God damn, this, I can't even blink. He's going to have a couple more thousand subscribers. So I that's hit like hundred thousand. I was I wanted to hit 100,000 before my birthday. It's in August. Mm -hmm. But if I hit 100,000 this year, I'll be happy with that. Yes, that would be fantastic. Yeah. And, and, and most importantly, um, people get to, I mean, it's kind of like when Gary Hefferly of Fresh From the Farm Fungi was on, he said he started his channel because he really kind of just wanted to document his journey. And you're documenting your journey, but specifically with already this foundational knowledge of how to create content, how to, how to build an audience. Right. right. How to now do you're YouTube. getting that out it makes you really accessible, right? Like you're not. I think so. I think so. Yes. I think um, because I've been doing this for a while, like we was talking about before, uh, 420 was my seven year anniversary of being a content creator. Wow. And so I'm brand new to growing mushrooms. Like I started six months ago, just like you guys seen, but I'm not brand new to doing videos. Now, before I started right. YouTube, I never made a video in my life. So I started making videos right when I started YouTube and you know, all these seven years, you build up different skills and you start understanding exactly what you need to do. And right. so what I want to do with during this podcast, I'm here to talk about whatever you want to talk about. But what I really want to get across to you guys, to everybody that's watching, is I want to share my knowledge of how to make money and actually be a content creator as a full time job. Is this something that right. you want to do? I wish I had somebody like me to talk to whenever I started. But as far as like mycology, we could talk about that if you want to. But really, PGT is going to be here in a second. 90 second mycology, those are the guys you want to talk to as far as learning how to do mycology, Willie Myco. Those are the videos that I watch to try to learn how to do everything. Right. And it's just so crazy that because the channel is blown up so fast, I can actually talk to these guys and it's so crazy. People consider me their peer when I, as far as knowledge, I don't have any knowledge compared to them, but I know how to make a video and I know how to right. grow a YouTube channel and I know how to make money doing it. So what I really want to talk about with you guys today is how to make YouTube and content creation your business so that you can live on it. And I'm going to be giving you real numbers. All right. I'm rolling up my sleeves. I'm ready. Right. So Let's hopefully anybody that's watching this, if you want, if you've been thinking about being a content creator or if you already one, it's really changed my life. It changed my life. So I really want to give you guys a lot of things that you can use that I wish I knew. And hopefully it'll, if it'll help you out. And I'm sure geeky will be looking at the, comment section if you guys got questions i'll answer oh, yeah. whatever you have but i really want to basically just tell you how exactly i've come to be able to make a living on not just a living a good living and we'll talk about that in a second but you know these days we do 25 30 000 a month and so i can tell you how to make a good living as a content creator if that's what you want to do so i've been doing this seven years and the first four years I mean, it's been my dream to basically be able to make a living just by doing content. In the first four years, I was able to do that. But ever since I moved to California, April 1st, 2020, during the pandemic, and ever since then, I've been living on just being a content creator, and I'm making more and more and more and more every month. So I basically want to tell you guys exactly how you can do the same thing. And I do want to mention this, too. For some reason, people think that creators... Whenever they start talking about money, whatever, people think it's kind of like something that you shouldn't do. But I'm not with that. I don't believe in the starving artist kind of deal. People, whatever you do to, if, whenever you go to work, you get your check. So if this is what you want to do. You should get paid for it. So I, I, I want to kind of get out of the habit of whenever somebody's talking about money, it's like a bad thing because the only right. people that think that is the people that had it their whole lives. I'm 41. Like I said, the last three years have been the best years of my life. You know what I mean? I've been able to eat yep. every day, <laughs> pay my bills. I had to worry about the electricity getting turned off. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody got a problem with creators talking about money, I don't know what to tell you, but I get my check and I'm going to try to tell you how to get a check too. You know what I mean? Well, I can tell you this. People who think it's tacky or say, oh, they shouldn't be talking about that or, oh, they're greedy. All I know is the Michael community that I exist in is full of motherfuckers that want to make a bunch of money. Man, so, I hope so. I, so to me, <laughs> it's kind of funny if somebody says, oh, he just talking about talk, making money. 
Yeah, that's all. I mean, ev- that's all everybody's doing. Everybody wants the Myco dream. Every, you know, I mean, most everybody does. Um, some of us have careers. I, I don't think I'm ever going to leave my career, but some people are really hoping that mushrooms can pay the bills. And so, if you're here and you're watching, we're going to get into it with the rookie, uh, yeah. and we're going to find out exactly how long it takes. How much yeah. uh, how much work it takes and some of the secrets and the ins and outs. So why don't you take us all the way back? You said for four years, yeah, right, not, right, not right. really supporting yourself, but go all the way back. Right, exactly. How did it okay, start? So basically, what I want to do is I'll start from the beginning for you guys. If you want to become a content creator, first thing is just do it. A lot of you guys are waiting for you know I I want to wait till I have the right equipment and I want right. to have the lights and I want to have some cameras. And all this stuff. These are these are my phones right here. Uh, two weeks ago, I just started using my camera to do footage. So if, okay. if you guys been noticing, like the last couple of videos, the quality has gone up as far as the picture quality. That's because I've been doing my videos all these years. I have my phones right here. My very first phones right here. This is the this is the phone that I made my first video on. I used the first two years. I got That's three awesome. million videos with this phone. Then I moved to this phone. This is an S8. I don't know what this is. A, I don't know what this is. Then I moved to these two phones. So you don't need all this equipment. If you have a smartphone, you have all the equipment that you need. So if you want to be a content creator and you want to start making money right as soon as possible, because yep. what I did is I did it the long way. All the things that I'm about to tell you right now, as soon as you start your YouTube channel, you want to do everything that I'm going to tell you immediately. And I know that it works because, like I said, I just took all this information and I just started the Rookie Channel six months ago. Right. And so we're already making, I'm already six months in and the the Rookie Channel already makes me over 10,000 already a month. And we'll get into that and I'll go through everything. do it. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to create your YouTube channel. The day that you create your YouTube channel, you're going to do a couple of things. First of all, if you can have a cool logo that'll look good on a shirt, a hat, Look at Geeky's hat. His hat's tight. Whatever. You want to have a cool logo, cool name, just to try to bring in attention. Right. The first thing you want, after the, after you got your logo and you got the name of whatever it's going to be, you want to make your channel. The first thing you want to do is you're going to get a uh, domain. You can go to GoDaddy and get a domain. It's like 20 bucks for two years. Whenever you're starting off something like that, it's really cheap to have a domain. And you want to start your store. And the starter store, it's not like it was back in the day. Whenever I started, I had to actually get shirts, get them made, and have boxes of inventory in my garage, in a spare room or whatever, right. just taking up space. But you don't have to do that anymore because they have stuff like Printful and Printify where it's direct to garment, where somebody will make an order and they'll make it and they'll send it to them. So you don't have to put up any money up front to, to do any of this stuff. So you're going to make your YouTube channel. You're going to get a website. And like I said, get a domain through GoDaddy or whoever you want to get it through. And you're going to get a store. My my stores have always been through Shopify. But you don't have to use Shopify. There's other people that you can use as well. Start your store and have you a couple of shirts, a hat, and a hoodie up there. So whenever you start your videos, you already got somewhere where you can direct your people so that anybody who wants to support you can get a hat. Can get right. a shirt and you'll make a couple mm-hmm. of dollars on each one of those. Also, what you want to do is you want to start your other social media. So whenever you start your YouTube channel, make an IG. If you want to be on Facebook, make a Facebook or TikTok or make right. everything that you that you you know feel comfortable actually being on that platform. Make all your social media because you want to start cross performing. <laughs> and because that's how I, I got the rookie um channel popping is i had a rookie mycologist tiktok and the first video that i did went viral on tiktok like seven hundred thousand views and after that i just kept saying hey guys this is the short version if you want to see the long version come to the youtube right. channel so i started cross promoting that way so the once again you're going to set up your youtube channel make your website do your social media you're going to start your Amazon affiliate. Now we're going to we're going to be talking about affiliate marketing coming up here. That's how you can make okay. a lot of money as a creator through affiliate marketing. 
almost every creator starts with Amazon. You can get an right. Amazon affiliate right now. And if you're wondering what, what I'm talking about, about affiliate, if you ever hear in somebody's video where they say, hey, guys, like on my video, you might hear me say, hey, I got this bag or whatever. I got this heater from Amazon. If you want to get it for yourself, click the link that's in the description. Right. So you put the link in the description. When they click on it, you're going to go over to Amazon and it's going to be whatever product you know, you're going to be buying. The thing about the Amazon affiliate stuff is whenever somebody checks out, you don't just get commission on whatever product it is. You get commission on the whole cart. Now, it used oh. to be a lot more commission back in the day. These days, it's between 3 and 4%, depending on you know, what product it is. It's right. usually, usually around 3.5%, but that's better than nothing. Right. And then the last thing that you want to do is just starting off is go ahead and start a Patreon. <clears throat> Geeky was just talking about his Patreon just a second ago. Right. Capture card. And the reason you want to do that is so whenever you're directing somebody to your website, you can also mention, guys, I got a Patreon. If you want to support me off of YouTube, support me on Patreon. So as soon as you start, you want to do all these things. Right. And the reason why we're doing this, because once again, the sooner that you can start making money, the sooner, the more you're going to want to keep making content. Because let me tell you something, right. especially in the 420 niche, you're going to be making content for years most of the time, before you could really start making some money, most of the time, I don't want right. to, you know, put on you what I couldn't do. Most of the time, you're going to be making content for years, so you got to love it. But if you can start making a little bit of money as soon as possible, then that's going to make you want to make more content because it's really hard whenever you start off. You don't know what you're doing, <clears throat> so in order to make a video, you got to record for a long time. To edit the video, oh my goodness, when I first started, <laughs> I used to spend nine hours editing the video. You put it out, it gets three right. views. Right. And then it takes a lot of gumption and a lot of intestinal fortitude to do that over and over again when you're getting seven views, six views, 12 views. I spent 10 hours on this video and it's got 11 views. Right. So it's really, you really got to love it if you want to do it. So that's the first thing that you want to do. Whenever you start your, start your YouTube channel, Make a website, do your social media, start your Amazon affiliate, and open a Patreon right away. That's what you want to do. And everything that I'm telling you, like I said, I just did it, starting this channel right here. So if you go back and look at the very first videos, I'm saying, hey, guys. And it, yeah. I can even show you comments where they're like, on my first and second video, this is your first video, and you already talking about a T-shirt? Yeah. <laughs> People started buying them right away. Right. So you want to start making money right away, if you can. Because, look, guys, having love and a passion for what you do is important. But you go ahead and call your electric company and try to pay your bill with passion. Right. You go to McDonald's and see if they'll get you some, get you a burger for some love. you got to have a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Right. So loving what you do is important. I'm very fortunate I get to do what I love. But you want to get paid for it. So that's what I'm talking about right now. So we got right. that first part. You got any questions about that, Geeky? Well, I mean, so one thing that you said was, you know, you, you got to love it because you're going to be you're going to be grinding for a while before grinding. that money comes. And, and I, I I know how that feels. I started out where it was like, oh, I'm not going to ask anybody for money. I'm not going to do this. I'm oh, not going to do that. And I kept paying the bills on my gear and I, and I kept putting in the work, staying up till two in the morning. Yeah. And and finally, my wife is like. How much money are you making doing this? Nothing. Oh, it's costing you money to do this. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, exactly. I like doing it. It's fun. And she's like, hell no, you're you're gonna have to start making some money. And and as soon as that happened, and as soon as I got the Patreon going, it, I mean, it was awkward at first for me because it, it it didn't feel right. But then I'm like, but I don't go to work for free, right? Man, My, I, I don't go to work for free. And I love it, but this is still work. I mean, yes. it's taken away time from other things that I could be doing with my family, with my wife, out and about, riding bikes, stuff that I like to do. I got every right to make make a couple That's bucks it. doing it. And it doesn't like right. nobody has to because you know YouTube is free. So nobody's forcing anybody to support right. you. But if somebody wants to support you or they find value exactly. in your content or you help them, you don't even know what somebody's going through sometimes. And you just yep. said the right thing at the right time. And somebody wants to show their appreciation. They should have the a way that they could do that. But you don't have you, to. You are really right about that. I can't tell you how many times 
people like out right i sell sterilizers i sell somebody sterilizer and they get it and they like it and they're like let me send you some and i'm like dude you already paid me for the sterilizer you don't need to send me nothing but they appreciate it it's that's people it. do want to show appreciation so uh that's that, so i that's think that's an wanna, important that's why you want to set up all those things because of hey man how can i support you other than just watching the video hey man thanks why don't right. you get a t-shirt or something or join the patreon or whatever the case is yeah appreciate it you know what i mean Ain't nothing wrong with that exactly yeah, people want to people want to rep their set, right? That's like what that's that's the that is the vibe in this community. People really want to rep the people that they like. That's it. That easy. All right. Yeah. So once you got your, shall I continue? Yeah, keep going. So once you have your YouTube channel set up and your social media stuff, of course you're going to start posting. Now the the thing when you first get started is you don't. People always say make quality content. Make quality content. When you first start, you don't even know what quality content is. <laughs> yeah. So what I would suggest that you do is whoever that you're learning from or whatever person that you like to watch yourself that you kind of relate to, look at their content. That's what I did. The people that I, you know, right. in, the, in the cannabis space, anybody that's in the cannabis space, the person who is the top dog, the biggest and the best in my area is Mr. Canuts Grow. He's the, everybody knows he's probably almost close to a million subscribers, something like that. Wow. As far as the growing, I'm not talking about cannabis entertainers and, you know, people, there's different parts of the, you know, 420. There's people that does entertainment, people that be smoking and dabbing and that type of stuff. That's their content. And then there's people that teach right. you how to do stuff. And for the educational part of it, Mr. Canucks Grow is probably the biggest and best in, in my, in my niche. And so I was looking at him, but he has a background in, in like filmmaking or something. So just the shots that he's able to get in his skill level is just on another level. I don't have any skills like that. Right. Like I said, I never made a video before I started doing YouTube at all. So basically what I did was I was trying to do my version of what he was doing. And then, sure. then I started to add like the talents that I have making music and that type of stuff to my videos, just to try to put more entertainment value. Cause with YouTube, you're either going to be entertainment or education, or you can try to have a little bit of both. Right. My stuff was heavy on the education, not too much entertainment. So that's why I started using my own music in my video, just to try to kick up the entertainment and make people want to watch even more. Right. But beside the point. So once you have everything set up, we're talking about how to make money on YouTube. You got everything set up. Like we said, you're going to start making content. Now you got you start to make videos and you're just gonna keep making videos. One thing about this, you'll get rewarded if you don't quit. It's gonna be real tempting to quit. I'm trying to tell you when you make your 30th video and you got 79 subscribers and you just spent seven hours doing this and no money's coming in. And right. I'm trying to tell you it's real <laughs> hard to find a reason to keep going. So that's why I'm telling you to set up everything early. So I'm trying to just the ten dollars here. $15 here, 70 bucks here. That's going to keep you going. Cause I wish I would have known that when I started, cause I went those years just cranking it out with nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But anyway, you know what? So do you know that, that guy, Gary, uh, Vanderchuk, Gary V. Oh yeah. I'm familiar. I'm familiar. Yeah. He had, he had a little short one day that I watched and some, he was doing one of his seminars, people paying like 10 grand to go to one of his seminars on the weekend right. or something. And the guy was like, yo, Gary, I've spent 80 grand on gear. I got a studio. I got this. I got that. When is it going to pop for me? And Gary just super chill. He goes, well, it only took me 11 years. I'm trying to tell you. Just, people, just like that. And the guy was like, guy, yo, he didn't know yo, what to say. On the, on the Ripley channel. Yo, keys, you blew up fast, man. It took me seven years to blow it, man. Right. Like, you know, you just you just, you just noticed me, but I've been yeah. doing this long before that. That's so like that I outcast say, line. Good, uh, what was it? Uh, good luck couldn't be bought. See, many a fight had to be fought. G, like, I'm trying I, you to know, tell you. It, 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 it looks like they just did it out of nowhere. No, nah, man, people put in work. I've been doing this. And let me tell you yeah. something about that, too, about putting in work. People think that they putting in work. But let me tell you something, guys. For the last <laughs> seven years, no girlfriends. No yeah. dates, no Work. women, no funerals, no weddings. Every day in here making content. I went over and I, because I was looking at the numbers so that I can give you some real numbers whenever I come on here. For the last seven years, I put out a new video on average every two and a half days for the last seven years. Wow. Think about yeah. that. My life has been content creation because I, I know that it's, 
I, I hoped I knew. I hoped that one day it would pay off. And so you just get into it and you just making videos, making videos, trying to get better, trying to get better. Right. Absolute focus on it. So whenever you start seeing a little bit of progress, you then you really start going hard. It's like I worked so hard to get here to work even harder now. Right. People yep. think this is easy. It's not easy, but I'm going to tell you how to do it. Okay. So once you got everything <clears throat> set up, like I said, the, the first thing that people think about whenever you think about getting paid on YouTube is Google AdSense. And what that is, is getting paid from YouTube. So whenever you're somebody says AdSense or Google AdSense, they're talking about getting paid from YouTube when you think about getting paid from your ads and, you know, if subscribers give you money. Shout out to the person that gave $49.99 to, to yeah, man. You. Yeah, that was, uh, let me shout her out real quick. Uh, they, I, I wasn't on when Kelly it happened. Martin. Kelly, Kelly Martin, Martin, shout out to Kelly Martin. Shout thank you. you. I was not here to, to put you up on screen, but thank you so much. We appreciate that. But whenever you get paid from Google AdSense every month, <clears throat> that's what people think about, about getting paid from YouTube. So let me go over that real quickly. Now, if you're a 420 creator, you can be monetized. Your channel can be monetized, but you, you're not going to make much money at all from Google AdSense because if you're a 420 uh, creator, your channel is going to be monetized, but you still have to make monetizable content. Right. Because how it works is they run ads on the videos and they give the content creator 55%. They take 45%. But your content still has to be monetizable. And since cannabis is going to be in all your videos because it's a 420 channel, you're not going to make much money, if any, from Google AdSense. Now, I thought it was going to be the same way for mushrooms. We're, we're, we're doing the Michael Geeky, so this is a mushroom podcast right. for anybody that's thinking about being a mushroom creator i thought it was going to be the same thing so i came in it with the same attitude that's why as soon as i came in set up the website everything that i just told you i did the same thing do the tiktok even though they banned me after 21 days i still was able to get right. 1.7 million views on wow. tiktok in 21 days so that brought a lot of people over from tiktok right, right. <clears throat> but with the google adsense what you want to do is you want to try to get monetized as fast as possible. And how you do that is you have to have a thousand subscribers. That's the easy part. A thousand subscribers. That's going to be the easiest part for you. You also have to have 4,000 watch hours in a 12 month period. That's a lot of watch hours, but they also just added the shorts. You can have 10 million views in shorts. That's a lot of views. And you can also get monetized right. that way as well. Right. So like I was saying, I thought that it was going to be the same way with uh, mycology. I thought that you, I wouldn't be able to get any videos uh, monetizable because it's mushrooms. But surprising to me, a lot of the videos, most of the videos that, that's on my channel are monetized, fully monetized. I was like, oh man, that's crazy. Man, you're doing better than me. I got over a third. So between a third and half of them are, are demonetized for me. Um, but they, they really pick and choose what they want to do, do or what they don't want to do because it's a video. My, my last video that I did showing the break and shake, right? They limited that one, and then the next video, full sport of flush video, fully monetized. Uh, yeah, and then I'll take I'll take three videos that I've already done that's fully monetized, put it together to do one video, and then they won't monetize that one. <laughs> so they just pick that and makes choose. no sense. Yeah, who knows? Whatever. But I'm just happy to coming from the 420 community. I'm just happy to make anything from Google AdSense. Right. You know what I mean? So it's, it's cool. So uh, as far as Google AdSense, let me give you some real numbers. So it took, what, three months? Took three months to get uh, monetized here on for the Rookie channel. Okay. My 420 channels are not monetized at all anymore. The Goodies 420 channel, my biggest channel, with 133,000 subscribers, that one used to be monetized, but ever since I uh, made that basically a grow another grow channel, they don't monetize me anymore. I see. But for Google AdSense, let me give you some real numbers. The rookie mycologist channel for Google AdSense last month made seventeen hundred dollars, and that's the boy. most I ever made from Google AdSense ever. From any of my channels. The From most any made, of your channels. Right. I wow. made $1,400 one time on my Goodies 420 channel. And then 
Yeah. And then last month, I made a uh, seventeen hundred from Google AdSense on the Rookie Mycologist channel. Nice. And so, and that's getting, I'm getting like 300,000, 300, 350,000 views per month now is what we're doing now. Man, you're killing it. You're killing it. It's the, yeah, the numbers are fantastic. I mean, your videos are digestible. They're oh, I appreciate it. relatable. They're fun. Uh, really, you, man, the first time you talked about it, uh, when, when we pulled you on that social media podcast. Oh, right, and, right. Yeah. And, and you were talking about, um, you know, have a, have a cool logo, an appealing logo, and then have like, have a cool intro. Man, I listened to you, man. I didn't even mess around. I was like, all right, <laughs> this guy's right. He knows what he's talking about. It really works. Do it. It really and works. you're right. It's, it is kind of like the juice. It's like the icing on the cake. It just exactly. sweetens, sweetens the pot a little bit. So, so I, I agree. Google AdSense, that's, like I said, that's basically the first thing people think about whenever they think about getting spot or money on from YouTube or right. content creator. If you're 420, you're not going to make much, if any, on the mycology side. Like I said, it's, it's being more and more each month. So I could see that even getting higher. Hopefully, right. we hope. Now, how I make the majority of the money that I make is from brand deals, sponsorships, and affiliate marketing kind of goes together with that in a way. So let me kind of explain that for you guys. So a brand deal is basically a one-time deal where a brand might approach you. They, they might see your content and you might get an email that says, Hey, we saw whatever video and you know, we would like to do a deal with you. When you first start off, the deal is going to be, we're going to send you the product, whatever the product is for. And, and the deal is you're going to do a video on the product and we'll give you the product for free. That's how everybody starts off. So don't, don't be thinking like, Oh man, I can't get a check. Everybody starts that way. Right. You're going to, everybody starts that way. You're going to be, that's, that's your payment, whatever the equipment is. <clears throat> then once you have, once you start having and track record for being able to actually generate sales for a company, then you can start negotiating upfront money, depending on whatever niche you're in, because it's some niches, it just doesn't make sense to do upfront, whatever. But you know, right. if you're going to be in the cannabis niche, like, like me and, a company approaches you to do an eight video series, then, you know, you can definitely try to get some money up front if possible. Like I said, mm -hmm. most time when you start off, you're not going to be able to, it's going to be the equipment and that's it. But at least you get free equipment. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's a brand deal. Brand deal is like a one-time deal. We give you the equipment or whatever the case is, you do the video, give your honest opinion. That's the deal. That's a brand deal. I still do some of those. Uh, you know, from time to time, like one deal, but for the majority of times, most of mine are series. Right. Now, sponsorships is basically where there's 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 always a kind of way that you can frame something in order to make it sound better. Like, what are you talking about? So, for instance, whenever you go to if you want to work for a particular company, whatever the company is, go to the website and just look at the top. Look at the footer and see if they have something like a, an affiliate program. If they have right. an affiliate program, you can sign up for it. And what happens is whenever you hear somebody says, um, you know, use my code, whatever, to get 10% off. Like I know Drew was on here a minute ago. If I say use the code rookie to get 10% off at inoculatetheworld.com, right, that could be considered a sponsorship Right. Or affiliate marketing, depending on how you phrase it. Because it could be just you went to the website, you was able to sign up for an affiliate. And so you have an affiliate link where, you know, if you're promoting a product, you can get paid if somebody clicks on it. And so you can, some people will phrase it as, hey, this company sponsored me. But you got to be real careful with that because you can't be like, hey, Nike sponsored me. Nike's like, what? Or you know, <laughs> a Reebok sponsored right. me or something like that. You got to be real careful with that. So either you right. ask the company if that's okay if you say that, or it might be just a real sponsorship. But for right. me, the majority of how I make most of my money is you got, if people are watching from my 420 channels, you know I'm sponsored by almost every tent and light manufacturer that you name them. My biggest one is Ace Infinity. And you'll notice with me that it was going to keep coming over and over and whenever I'm talking about stuff is loyalty. The people that mess with me from the beginning 
I'm super loyal to those people. Ace Infinity started sponsoring me. I had only been growing cannabis six months. They seen I did a video on their inline fan. They seen that video and reached out to me and said, hey, we seen the video you did on our inline fan. Do you want to be sponsored by us? I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. yeah, what you mean? So that happened nice. when I was six months into growing. And since then, like I said, I've been growing uh, two and a half years now. We've already done over 500,000 in sales. That's incredible. Me, me and Ace Infinity. Last month was my best month ever since I brought Ace Infinity to the Mushroom Channel. Before, I was doing in between twenty five and 35000 a month for Ace Infinity. Since I brought them on the Mushroom Channel, now I'm doing 50000 a month in sales. I'm not getting 50000 a month. That's how much I'm Oh, yeah, but the sales still, right. that's impressive, man, right. that, that you can generate that amount of sales for them. Right, I exactly. Mean, and then I get a commission on all the sales. So that's, that's how I do most of mine because... I like it how if you don't work, you don't eat. If you don't, if you don't right. perform, you don't get paid. So a lot of the stuff that I do is based on sales. So we'll right. make a deal where, you know, I get whatever, whatever percentage I can negotiate. Usually it's around 10%. There's only like one or two companies where I was I had to take a little bit lower than that. But usually it's around 10%. Where I'm gonna whatever it is, I want 10% of it. And then I like doing that because there's no cap. So if I if I only right. you know if I make if I make you a thousand dollars, you owe me a hundred dollars, right? Which is not a lot. Right. But right. if I make you fifty thousand, then you got to give me five grand. Right. And so if I'm I'm sponsored by maybe twenty companies, something like that. And so I look at each one of those companies. Whenever I'm talking to the companies, I'm always talking about how much am I making, what can I do to make more? Because the more I make them, the more I make me. Right. And so every month I'm responsible for 200 to 250,000 in sales for all my sponsors. And so how are you going to be able to make a lot of money? That's great. In a content creator is if you can have, be honest with your audience, <laughs> which means when something is, was it was a shitty product? You say it's shitty. Right. It's a good product. You say it's good. And people can trust your word. People will, like we was talking about, I think before we came on here where people are asking me about my opinions about my college, you're like, yo keys, what do you think of they're telling me the situation? I'm like, Hey man, I really appreciate you coming to me, but I've been growing mushrooms for like six months. So that just lets you know the power of people being able to see you on YouTube or whatever the case is. They ask right. me questions like I'm an expert just because the, even though the whole, the whole gist of my whole channel is I'm a rookie it's in the name <laughs> i don't know what i'm it's doing right i'm trying there. to learn but people will still ask me like i know what i'm talking about just because they watch me on youtube so if you can have not even a persona or nothing like that just be 100 honest with your audience they will start using your code and your links and whatever the case is right and that's how you can really start generating some income because i'm gonna this is this is some information that the companies don't don't want to hear but I would advise everybody, unless you just have some, like a great relationship with a company, that's awesome. <clears throat> but if you can, try not to do exclusive deals. Try not. Of to. course, they don't want to hear that. But yes. right. Try not to, because what you're doing is. You're only going to be able to get paid from that one person. From that one company. Whereas. Uh, you know, sometimes we, whenever you start off, because. I'll give you some some direct examples. Mars Hydro. They're not like they're not like this anymore, but they used to be. Mars Hydro sponsored my first and second grow. Mars Hydro used to want exclusive deals with people. So what they do is they'll sponsor your first, they'll sponsor a grow for you, and then after the grow, depending on how it goes and everything, they'll be like, "We want to sponsor you." Then they'll try to sign you to an exclusive deal. That's what they did with me. I did my first and second grow. They wanted to sign me exclusively. I was like, no, don't want to do that. So then they stopped sponsoring me. And then, like I said, six months later, I got Ace Infinity and everything started going. But the reason why I don't do exclusive deals, whatever your situation is, you may have to, or you may just want to, is because you're cutting off your ability to make more money. Right, yeah. Right, especially like if you're going to be in the niche where I'm at where you're doing, you know, 
different tent and light manufacturers. Every month, all the companies, Ace Infinity, Spider Pharma, Mars Hydro, Viper Spectra, Vi Vivo Sun, High Photon Flux, Porta Best, you name them, Brewer's Choice, all of them sponsor me. That means that every month I can get a check from every one of those companies because I'm making, I'm generating sales every month. Grow Ace. I can keep going. I'm sponsored by like 20, 25 companies. So that means I can get 20, 25 checks every month. Now, That's I got a question for you. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can just trust them to pay you. Like you just trust that they're going to, you know. It's so crazy that you said that. I've only had this happen one time and it was not, I, didn't, I never happened before until I got to the mushroom community. So the, uh, like I said, anybody who's watching this and you want some strong, great genetics and a, and a, and a great guy, inoculate the world. Drew from inoculate the world. He's going to take care of you for sure. So yeah, go to him. Drew's a staple. 100%. He's a 100 been around for yeah, straight up guy. And man, shout out to Drew. But I think Drew, of, 90 said Drew was supposed to be in, in the chat, but I haven't seen him yet. Oh, was no, he? he oh, okay. I saw him earlier, but I don't know if he's here now. He said, Shoot, I, I was him. just trying to get my camera working. <laughs> I, yeah. I, no, I texted with him like what yesterday or day before yesterday or something. So he's supposed to be here. Nice. But um, the guy that owns Spores. So what happened was because, like I said, guys, I'm everything that I do, I'm, I'm doing everything that I love, but I'm going to try to find a way to monetize everything that I do. Like, if you came for money, then you don't know what it is to not be right. able to eat every day. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never had to worry about, should I put this $5 of gas in the car so I can get to work, or should I eat? Can't do both. You don't know what that's right. like. So everything I do, I try to monetize. <clears throat> so like I said a minute ago, whenever I started the TikTok, my first video on TikTok went viral. 700,000 views, right? So in my head, I'm thinking, I need... I need somebody with an affiliate program. That's what I was thinking. I need a mushroom spore site that has an affiliate program so I can direct these people to that site. They can buy. I can get a commission. Right? The first, yeah. I asked my homie. I didn't know. I didn't know. Like I said, I'm brand new to mushrooms. So I didn't know anything about spore sites or anything like that. I asked one of my homies, my good friend of mine, and he told me about spores 101. He said, I used to get stuff from Sports 101. Check them out. So I checked them out. Has an affiliate program. Cool. Bam. Sign up for that. Accept it. No problem. Bam. So now I'm sending people to him and he's getting like, he's wondering why, why is his numbers going crazy? He's getting like seven to 10,000 extra hits that he wasn't getting every day. And so I get an email saying, hey, you want to get paid? This is the owner of Sports 101. I said, hell yeah, I want to get paid. What's good? I knew he was going to hit me at some point. Right. Because he's like, I noticed my, you know, the spike in people uh, coming to the site. So I made a deal with him where I, same thing, I would get 10% of whatever I generate for him. And Tom come to pay. And he, this guy, now he's not answering emails. Don't answer anything. Yeah, see, that's the stuff that freaks me out. So that's only, it's only happened at one time. So sports one on one, don't go to them at all. Piece of shit. Michael's Michael.ca. The same guy owns that. Don't go to that mm. shit either. Whatever you need, go to inoculate the world. Straight up. Drew, he's the man. So anyway. So I seen I do I, I use the same moves all the time. The, the reason I got the Ace Infinity joint or even got into their products because I watched Mr. Canuts grow. He had a video about Ace Infinity inline fans. I'm like, oh, that's exactly what I need. I bought a inline fan, did a video on it. That's how I got my sponsorship with Ace Infinity. Same deal. I didn't know anything about liquid culture, spore print, multi sport syringe, any of that stuff, spore swab. So I watched Willie Michael's video on all those, and he has Inoculate the World. He's using stuff from Inoculate the World. I seen 90 Second Mycology talk about inoculate the world. I seen PGT talk about inoculate the world. So I said, man, whoever the hell this inoculate the world is. <laughs> He's probably a good guy. Everybody respect this guy. So this guy must be good right here. <clears throat> so then I had a conversation with Drew. And Drew was like, yeah, man. Let's do a deal. 
And so we did the deal. And I don't know if Drew was comfortable with, with the numbers. You know, I, I give numbers. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? But I don't know if people are comfortable. But I can just say, let's go back to me once again for the for the rookie mycologist uh, channel. Let's go back to real numbers. So I told you I made 1700 last month from Google AdSense, from YouTube. Okay? From my sponsors. And so you guys know I'm sponsored from my from my mushroom channel, Inoculate the World, North Spore, and AC Infinity now. I brought AC Infinity in, right? Those are my three sponsors right now for the mushroom the channel. The rookie my college, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Last month I made 7300 bucks for my sponsors. 7300. So that Damn. means that I was responsible for at least $73,000 worth of merchandise last month. Dude, that's amazing. Right. Yeah. So that's only I, that's I mean, the, here's the real truth too. I don't know if you do this, but when I go to buy a computer, man, I don't go to Best Buy and ask one of these dudes wearing a blue shirt oh, yeah, what no, computer you do, to oh, buy. You I watch YouTube videos. Yeah. I watch that, my, my boy Marquise Brownlee. He's going to tell me what you to go. buy, right? Exactly. Like, that's who I go to. So I mean, and, and now I will say from, from cannabis to, to mushrooms, it's a little different at this point right? because it's so geared up in, in, in the cannabis world. And so much of what we do, I can go to Walmart and buy a $2. Right. You know, yeah, right. Exactly. And so so we're not there yet. But Not yet. Not and, yet. and boy, the, the community is brutal, right? I mean, yeah. man, if I came out with some, you should see on Etsy, there's some people that, that like make their little do it themselves. Uh, you know, still air boxes or they're growing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm on Etsy. That's, that's, where I, that's where I get my, my agar cups and everything. I got yeah. it from Etsy. And before yeah. I got with our North Spore, my grain bags I got from Etsy. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, are trying to build that economy up for our community. Um, and sometimes it works out. And, you know, grain is definitely hit or miss. Some people think they know how to, you know, sterilize grain and sell grain. And they don't always know how to do that. Um, I've been really lucky, man. I really, I, I hadn't had any troubles really. And then yes, you are lucky. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, you've been lucky so far. Uh, there are definitely some shysty people out there, um, and maybe not even just shysty, but some some people mean well, but they just don't know what they're right. doing and didn't have the and, skills or whatever. Yeah, they don't got the skills. They're they're you know working in too great a volume, and, and it's like just the quality goes down. But I think that's an important point. Uh, to talk about a lot of people. Uh, I think I got most flack from this. Um, I went out as a real advocate for Micropose uh, as a company. I really respected what, what Daniel Rogers was doing and was like, yeah, man, these guys make cool products. You know, uh, it is definitely better products than just the cheap Chinese knockoffs. And I had so many people on Instagram just trying to hate like, oh, you don't need to buy that. You can just do it yourself. And I'm like, Yo, not everybody wants a fucking yeah, project. Sure. Everybody's not do it yourself. You know, not what I mean? everybody's do it yourself. Yeah, exactly. Right, and there's no rule that says you gotta be do it yourself or get the fuck out of here. You have every right if you want to not do a part of this process and buy it. You can do that. That's okay. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, shout out. You're definitely uh, ninety second. My colleague said, "Don't forget to mention tax." I'll definitely get into that for yeah. sure. Definitely get an accountant too. But um, so there. brand deal <laughs> sponsorships. That's how I make the majority of my money by you want to make everything comes from the content. Right. The content is number one. <clears throat> I should have said this at the beginning. Before you before you even make your YouTube channel, what I always do before I start, I have what four YouTube channels right now and I already got ideas for like three or four more. If you can sit down and write titles for the first 15 or 20 videos that you would make. That's probably a good idea for you because you got to remember, it's not going to stop there. Right. Every month, every year, you got to continue to make content. Consistency is a big deal. <clears throat> right. a, lot, a lot of, a lot of times the reason why somebody didn't make it as a YouTuber is because they quit. Yeah. So that's the number one piece of advice I want to give you. If you want to do this, this has really got to be something that you want to do. If, if you're trying to do it as a full-time career, you right. know, if you're just messing around, and just want to document stuff and put it online and, you know, do your thing. The, right. What I'm talking about is the people that's trying to make this a living. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I'm referring to. Right. And, and like anything that you, right, if you want to make a living doing anything, you, it takes time. 
You want to be a doctor? Got to go to school. You want to play yeah, basketball? Got to hit the court. Oh man, I'm yeah. Because they watch whoever they you know they watch these creators that you know blew up real fast on on uh, YouTube, and they think that that's automatically going to happen to them. Those are outliers, guys. Most of us have to grind it out. You got to grind it out and just keep doing it over and over and over again. Oh, but anyway, let me let me keep telling about talk to you about the money. So, I talked earlier. I was talking to you about the Amazon affiliate program. That's one of the things that also is going to, if, if you can get, start making some content that people actually will watch, everything rises. So just like with me, I was making before the Mushroom Channel, I was making about 200, 250 bucks a month from Amazon every month from, you know, people clicking the links and all that we were talking about. Right. Ever since I started the Mushroom Channel, because of the overwhelming support on the Mushroom Channel and it's getting so many views and everything. Now that that's went up to like a thousand dollars a month from Amazon, so that increased eight hundred books, right? Or just people being you know watching the the content, clicking on the links and getting whatever they're getting, same deal. So right. now, like I told you, it's only three and a half percent that you're getting from Amazon. So if I'm making a thousand books, that means that I'm making Amazon about thirty thousand dollars a month right. now. You see what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Everything is about for me anyway. Like I, I can only give you the advice of things that I've experienced. And so somebody else probably can tell you a different way. I'm just telling you how I did it. So that way you can do it too. You have to be able to make content that is honest, that people respect. Right. That's, I mean, yes. paid, but, but if you, if you, if people don't trust what you're saying, then they're not going to click your link. They're not going to use your code. Right. You have to bring real value to your content. So that's yeah. what me, how I bring value is I just try to be as honest as possible. If it, if it's contaminated, it's contaminated. You guys see me do the North spore series. What I had to spawn the boat four times. It just is what it is. Right. But people really respect the honesty because what happens is <clears throat> a lot of, a lot of the content creators, they don't put what happened bad in there. Right. That, that's on the cannabis side and on the mushroom side. Every time you watch all their videos, everything is always great. Everything always works. And it's never like that. Right. So I want to give you a realistic expectation that, hey, you see my stuff get contaminated. You're going to get some contaminated stuff. Everybody does. Keep keep it moving. That's all you do is just keep it moving. So I just try to be as honest as I can. And since I'm very honest in my content and my delivery, because I'm just an honest person, all the, probably too honest, people trust what I'm saying. And if I say, hey, man, this shit sucks, they're not, they're not going to buy it. If I say, hey, this product is great. It's working for me. People buy it. And so, yeah. And so, and, you know, like old school ads, right? It's all polished. It's some director from Hollywood who's a B-list director oh, right, and right, right. music video director. And, you know, you can, I can, I can take the shittiest product on the planet and make a cool commercial for it if I got the right budget. But what's so great about YouTube and, you know, whether it's affiliate links or it's content that's uh, seeing a real person using a real product. Right. I mean, it's the best kind of advertising. It's it's a guy who's telling the truth or you were right. Like if people believe you're telling them the truth yeah. and you're walking through the, the reality of using that product, it's the best ad you can possibly have. Definitely. And definitely stay away from companies that try to buy the outcome I only had to deal with this twice so far in the seven years that I've been doing this, where, you know, you, you make the deal, everything's negotiated, whatever. And then they try to hit you with what they're expecting at the end. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Right. Anybody who's trying to buy the outcome, don't do that deal because the people are going to see right through it. Right. Right. What, what they're buying is your honest opinion of whatever the product is. So sometimes they'll not say. So sometimes, sometimes they will try to say, and we really want you to say it's the best. Well, not, product not really. Ever. What 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 the outcome is going to be is you're going to love it. Da, 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 da. That's like that. Like no no right. no 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 no. Wow. I don't do that. Nah. So this only been like I said. It's only been two companies, and I only they're not even business anymore. That's probably why. <laughs> there you go. That's why. Yeah. I and mean, so, uh, right? the, the minute like, you got to get somebody to lie for you, <laughs> that product no. probably ain't. Is so you tell good. all the companies up front, you're not paying for the outcome. You're paying me to give my honest opinion to right. my audience. So 
unless you're comfortable and have, you know, great, great, like you just feel really good about your product, I'm not the content creator for you. So don't right. start doing that kind of stuff right there. People are going to see through you. And then as soon as your credibility is gone, you might as well stop yeah. or try to make a YouTube channel where you don't got to show your face or something like that. Right. Because nobody's going to trust you and you're not going to be able to generate any income. I mean, that's the truth. All, all the content creators I follow for advice on products, um, they don't pull any punches. They have a unique perspective every time and they don't pull any punches. I mean, you know, Marquis, Marquis Brownlee is always like, yo, this new iPhone straight up sucks. That's and, it. And, right. And, and then he'll like talk about why he feels that way and he'll be nice and diplomatic about it. But man, he's definitely telling exactly how he feels. And I love that guy for doing that. That's all I want. That's it. Yeah. All right. Should I keep going? Yeah, man. Keep going. Okay, great. The next way that you can make money. So we, if you just came a little small recap, we're talking about ways that you can make money on YouTube and being a content creator. We talked about Google AdSense. That's like number one people think about. We talked about brand deals, sponsorships, affiliate marketing. What you want to do with that is you really want to just make a list of companies that you want to work with. Maybe some of your favorite YouTubers work with. That's how I did it. Like I said, right. That's how I got. I saw Mr. Canuck grow with Ace Infinity. Oh, great. I need that product. I'm going to do Ace Infinity. So whoever your favorite people are to watch, whatever whatever your niche is, then you might want to work. Like I said, I've seen Inoculate the World everywhere. I need to talk to Inoculate the World. He must be doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? Right. Only True. That's, that's what I do. I don't ever have to lie about anything because the companies that I rep, I like. Or if I don't like it, I'll tell you this tent sucks. It got pinholes in it or whatever the case is. Right. The next way that you can make money is we were talking about a website earlier. <clears throat> but you're going to have your own merch or you can sell a service or a product. Like for me, you guys know I got the rookie mycologist. That's just a bunch of merch. I also have for my goodies 420 channel shop.goodies420.com. And that's where I sell magical butter machines on rocks, herbal infusers, because when I did the goodies 420 channel, what put me on the map was edibles. Right. And so, okay. Realizing that I, that the ceiling was there was a really low ceiling on how much I was going to be able to make doing edible content because you're in that like I said, you're in that space where it's cannabis related, but you can't you can't label anything cannabis related right. or you won't be able to monetize it. So you're not getting the views that you would normally get if you did do it. So you're just in like a crazy situation. So and then plus I I did probably everything that you can do as far as can of butter, can of oil, can of sugar. I did everything. And so I was like, you know, what, what am I going to do? And then I said, I'm going to start doing growing because there's so many tent and light companies that I could do business with that would pay me to make content because I make good content. I explain things well and pretty concise. Plus when I'm showing it, people tend to get it. So that's when I made the change from edibles into growing. The bad thing is, this is for a little bit of YouTube, whatever niche that you're in, if you try to change niches, that's going to that's gonna really screw you as far as your views and everything. Because when I was doing just edibles, views, the subscribers, everything's coming in. Cool, bam. When, I, when I'm like, okay, I'm still doing cannabis, but I'm going to start doing the growing so that way I could actually try to make a living doing this. Right. It, YouTube had me in the food category and then they're putting me in the cannabis category. So now I can, you know, I I can get probably a thousand, fifteen hundred views the first day, even though I got one hundred and thirty-three thousand subscribers on the Goodies Four Twenty channel. People think that subscribers bring in views, and that's not how YouTube works, guys. Right? Views bring in subscribers. The reason I I've been able to get one hundred thirty-three thousand subscribers is because I have almost seven million views on that channel. Right. So if anybody that does YouTube will tell you, YouTube doesn't push your content to the subscribers. That's not how it works. Whoever whoever watches your content, that's who YouTube pushes the your content to. Right. So just think about it. If you're on YouTube, even if you're not subscribed to somebody, whenever they put out a new video, you're going to see it because you've been watching their content. So YouTube doesn't push your videos to the subscribers. It takes views to get subscribers. Subscribers don't give you views just for you, for you guys to know. 
And whenever you switch niches, like I did went from food, because I wasn't labeling things so I could actually try to make some money instead of putting how to make the best cannabis infused mac and cheese or how to make can of nerd ropes. If you do that, right. there's no monetization. But if I put how to make the best nerd ropes or how to make Southern style mac and cheese, I can monetize. Same video. Right. As long as I don't show any cannabis in the video, I can still. So I was, you see, I was trying to straddle the fence. Right. But there was only so much that I could make and so far I could go because in one foot, all this is cannabis related. So I could get more views if I label everything cannabis related, but I can't monetize any of my content because it's cannabis related. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So that's why I changed niches and went from just food to growing and everything because I had hit a limit and I knew I wasn't going to be able to make any more than I was making. Because like I said, once they did the new algorithm shift, I was making like 1500 1400 1300 every month from, from Google AdSense. They did that algorithm shift and I started doing 600 500 okay. And I'm like, I can't, you know what I mean? I'm trying to be like a real full-time content creator and I can't pay my bills with that. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes yeah. you, you gotta make a you gotta make a change. And so that's why I went into the growing. I mean, I already wanted to start growing. I just had to wait till I moved to California. I, I was living in Texas, and Texas is still illegal, no medical, no anything. Right. And so when I moved to California, I was able to start growing. But anyway, you want to have a merch site or a site where you can sell your own content whether it's merch or whatever it is. Like if you're, right. if you're a photographer, you can sell your own LUTs or whatever it is. Something related to what you're doing, you want to have your own website. And that's how you can make additional money too. So for like the Ricky Mycologist website, that makes like 1500 a month. And on my uh, shop.goodeats420.com, that makes about 2500 3000 a month. Because I'm not, last year, uh, the website did like over a uh, uh, wait a minute. Two years ago, it did over a hundred thousand. Nice, but that's when I was running ads on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I was spending a lot on ads to make a lot. I I stopped doing that because all of my money's not all of it. Most of my money started coming from the sponsorships that we were talking about. Right. So I stopped doing those ads, and the website still made fifty grand last year. So that's still cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's Extra great. Money extra money so all right so you it if you're gonna do this you got to get ready and you got to not play and you got to yeah. be serious and you got to line up all your socials you yes. got to be out of the gate you can't and i think this cannot be overstated you said you you got to have a hook now gotta that's a not a that's not a gimmick no, not a gimmick. It's a hook. You, you, you can look up YouTube YouTube videos about what a hook is. <laughs> that is a real compelling angle for the story you're trying to tell or the, or the right. product or whatever. You got to have a real hook. Right. I don't use that the hook important. anymore like, because I don't know how many times people want to hear, uh, you know, that, that begin. If you watch the earlier videos, then you'll see, you know, this is a rookie mycologist. Oh, bass drop keys, your friendly neighborhood Negro and... A rookie mycologist. If you're watching this, then you probably see me from being in the 420 community. But now I want to learn how to grow mushrooms. So you know right. what I mean. So that's that's yeah. the hook. I'm telling you, I'm yeah. brand new. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you want to learn with me? So that's exactly. all it is. <clears throat> and then once you have the ball run, the ball rolling, you can kind of take that out a little bit because once you have the ball rolling, you want to kind of get to the information as soon as you can. So if you guys, some people right. ask that, yo, Keys, why you stop putting that in the beginning? Because you want to get to the information. People already know who I am now. Let's get to the information and stop wasting people's time. You know what I mean? Exactly. But you want to have some kind of hook. And the, the thing is, whatever it is, just be honest. Don't come up with some fake stuff. Right. Be honest and come up with something that's real. And people usually respect it. Well, that's that's your hook, right? Your your hook is watch me grow mushrooms. That's I'm, going, that's... I'm going on a journey. I'm going to be <clears throat> real with you about everything that, that is, that is different. And then I started looking at other people's content because be, I don't know how you guys want to do it, but if I was you, before you started, before you start being a content creator, 
look at people in that niche because you're going to be making videos in that niche. You got to think, can I make this different or better right. or just put my own version of it, whatever? My, my angle, what's my take, right? You can't have the same take as five other people. Right. right. I noticed that some of the people, some of the people in the mushroom community wasn't actually putting mushrooms in their videos. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I'm not doing that. Right. <laughs> so, I said, right. so I said, no, I'm going like full in. So I like um, Boomer Shroomer, Ashley. Right. You know, she got mushrooms in her. Shout out to her. But I was on, on Willie's, Willie Maiko. Like I said, I watch his videos. He's always explaining something. You know what I mean? But, and then whenever I was on here last time with you guys, he explained, it. I'm like, oh, that's why he don't show anything. Oh, I'm like, oh, I don't care. I'm just whatever. I, I thought by now I would already be demonetized, honestly. That I just expect to be demonetized. Hey Amen. Keep those fingers point. crossed. Because it, you know, it's happened, you know, with the cannabis channel. So I'm just used to it. Right. But uh, no, it's been, it's been pretty good. Well, you are welcome here. We love having you here. It's great that you're willing to talk to people. Because man, I have people every day pitching me stuff, and I'm just like, go do it. Go yeah, do exactly. it. You don't that's need me. Go start. do it, man. I'm doing my thing. You go do your thing. Exactly. So I, I, I think that's. Uh, that, that's good, solid advice. Somebody in, in the chat said, oh, we're, you know, we're not all content creators. I know, man, I put in the description what, what the first segment of tonight was going to be about. We are going to talk Somebody about said, this. Somebody said haters going to hate. You know what? Right. You know, oh, 90 <laughs> seconds my cousin said that. Um, you know what's crazy is the people that's been hating on me now, well, I, I guess I wasn't even thinking about it, but I understand their point of view. Some, of, some veteran mycologists you know, got some things to say because I, I mean, I, but I understand where, they, where they're coming from. You know, if you've been doing this for a, a minute and you're not getting any growth, you're not in no, no traction, your videos aren't doing anything, whatever. And somebody brand new comes in and just right. starts blowing yeah. up to you. You thinking like, what the hell? But right. what I got to say to this, don't blame me. Right. Like what you blaming me, what you should do is <clears throat> you already got a loser mentality. Anytime somebody's doing better than me, I'm always like, oh, that's great. How can I, I watch what are they doing? Yeah. How can I use whatever it is? Like maybe it's a way they said something or set something up or whatever the case is. You want to try to look at that stuff and say, how can I use that to my advantage? So for you veteran, my how, yeah, how can I learn? <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for being good. You there know what I mean? Know. Like I said, I, I, I know you, I know you're just getting used to me, but I've been doing this for years. I'm a yeah. rookie mycologist, but I'm a veteran video creator now. Right. So that's why I, you see, uh, I upgraded my mic. I'm starting to use cameras now. I'm like, yo, I do this full time. Why am I still using phones? So now I'm putting time and energy trying to right. increase my skills even more to be even better creator. That's what you should do. So yeah. instead of hating on me. Yeah, man. Well, so you also uh, make music and, and I used to make music. I ran a recording studio in Detroit. Yeah. I work with R&B and hip hop artists. I had a band. And let me tell you what, if we thought we had the hypest song in the world and we played that song and people weren't getting hype, we didn't go, oh, they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's we their go, fault. oh, <laughs> we maybe were a little too high when we made that song and we <laughs> it wasn't as good as we thought it was. Yeah, I right, was just, like, trying to, just trying to improve your skills. You Don't gotta be mad listen at to the else. audience. You gotta pay attention. No, yeah. be be a bet. Get do better thumbnails. Yeah, do better subject. Stuff. You know everything. It's just take the craft seriously. Yeah, but other than that, I gotta say everybody uh, for the most part in the mushroom community being really cool with me. So I really appreciate it. Well, so speaking of that, um, I, I do remember you saying uh, the last time you were on. That, uh, you know, in the beginning, really, you asked a bunch of questions to people and a lot of people didn't have the didn't have time for you. But one person did. Right. So how that worked was. Because I'm, I'm on both sides of it, right, coming into the, the mushroom community, I'm new, but I'm known I'm I'm somebody that people look up to in the cannabis space. I'm not saying that with any ego. It just it is what it is, especially yeah. uh, being black in my in my area. A lot of people look at me and I really appreciate that. And so whenever I start something new, I always try to, like I said, be honest. <clears throat> so whenever I did the first um, Uncle Ben's video, I shouted out 90 Second Mycology. I wanted people to know this is where I got it from. 
Uh, one of the first videos I did the same thing with uh, PGT, other people in the community. You know, because I'm, I'm just honest, like whatever you guys see on my mushroom videos, there's there's not really a single original thought. Like you guys see me use the burger press. I got that from Yoshi. I didn't come up with that. Right. And I tell you guys, you know what I mean? This Uncle Ben stuff. I didn't come up with this. I got it from 90 second mycology. I tell you up front where I got it from. And so being somebody new, I understand how, you know, somebody that's established, oh, this guy got like 300 subscribers. What's the point in saying anything? Right. So it's not about mentorship or anything like that. I don't believe in mentors. It's just about showing somebody appreciation and them just saying, hey, hey, I see what you're doing. That's all right right there. So on my, my second video on the channel is when I inoculated the Uncle Ben's rice for the first time. So I shouted out a uh, 90 second my college gym like, yo, this is where I got it from. I wasn't sure who created it then. I'm like, I don't know who made this up, but I'm telling you where I got it from. 90 second my college. And so he came through. He was, he was the only established creator that ever came through. I'm like, yo, I see what you're doing or showing just showing love. Like I said, it ain't about yeah. giving advice or any of that. It's just showing love. That's all it is. And I would yeah, he, he's a good I, guy. I, that doesn't surprise me that he did that. Well, I know that now. You know, I didn't know that then, whatever. I'm just, you know, being honest, telling people where I got the information from. He came through and showed love. And like I said, you don't know. You don't know the next person that's going to blow up. Because my second video on the channel, I had like, I don't know, a couple of views, a couple of subscribers, whatever. You know what I mean? You don't know I'm going to have 40,000 six months later or whatever. And so right. because he was the only one that showed through, he actually came on Instagram too. And show me some love on Instagram. So that's why I keep doing the Uncle Ben's tech. People, a couple people talk trash still. Why are you doing Uncle Ben's tech? You got North Spore, you got grain, y'all. I said I'm doing it because I'm gonna show love and deference to him. I told you guys, loyalty is real big. If you if you support me early, you got somebody you can count on forever as long as I'm here. So Ace Infinity, they started supporting me early. Now we do big numbers. We all eat and everybody's happy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Same yeah. thing with 90 Second Mycology. He was gracious enough to spend any amount of time saying what's up to a rookie, a couple of subscribers, and then next thing you know, I done blew up. So and, and, and to pay deference yeah. to him and respect to him, as long as my, I told him, as long as my channel is up, I'm going to keep doing Uncle Ben's tech, keep showing him love, see if I can send more subscribers to his channel as well. And that's just the way it is. So he's been really cool. <laughs> And so uh, much love to 90 Second Mycology. That's a lovely story. You know what? I, I'm going to hold on one second here. Pull this off. You know what? Why don't we just pull him on? Without further ado, he saved yeah, my yeah. butt earlier when my when my uh, capture card started to, started to take a crap on me. Uh, 90, what's up, man? Yay, yeah, there he is. You're probably muted. He muted himself. No, man, the bugs are out tonight, man. Also, you guys, I wasn't watching the comment oh. section. I'm sorry oh, about that. Wait, oh, oh, <laughs> oh there he is. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, you what figured it out. Comments, yeah. Rookie, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, if you guys got questions about how to make money on online, whatever, I'm sure one of the guys will see it. I, I wasn't watching the comment section, so sorry about that. But I'll answer whatever you have if you got questions. Oh yeah, we'll we'll get into that for sure. Um, yeah, somebody. I, I know, I know. Ninety was like talk about taxes. I'm like, shit, man. I just oh, got done doing my taxes. I don't want to talk about taxes. Yeah. Uh, so I've learned is that a lot of people, man, forget about taxes. And like, I'm the one guy that's always like, oh my god, oh my god. I have a man. family that's sending me like Zelle payments in my personal account, and I'm like, yeah. oh my god, is that cash? Do I report it? And it's like, you know, it, I'm the one guy who's always just upset about taxes. And there's a you lot know, of I got people an account, who do DoorDash. The, you gotta, the last three, like, like I said, the last three years is when I really started like making a couple of dollars. And so the, I didn't, the first year I didn't, I didn't have an account or whatever, but the second year I was like, Hey, this might be actually sustainable where, you know, I can keep doing this. So I actually have an accountant. Cause I didn't want to be, you know, popular YouTuber goes to jail, tax evasion or what I'm like, nah, I don't need that. <laughs> so I don't need that at all. Like Wesley's knives or something crazy. No. Nah. So I have an accountant and my accountant is great. My accountant started, uh, their practice the same year I was born. 
and I'm 41. Wow, yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll mess with you. So I got an accountant. And that's who handles my taxes. <laughs> yeah, man, don't don't be all these people worried about you know growing a couple mushrooms in their basement, get going to jail, and then end up getting getting caught on tax evasion. Man, <laughs> don't be that guy. I yeah. don't want to be. You going to jail for taxes? Yeah. What you in for? Oh, don't mess with me. I didn't pay my taxes. <laughs> tax evasion. I gotta pay. Like I said, it's 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 a big. It really it really is a culture shock in a way. Because when you come, all my life I've been in that tax bracket where I'm gonna you get, get you get refund. you get it back, yeah. I'm gonna get a refund, you know. Every and then, like I said, uh, two years ago, it was like I was so happy. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get a fat ass tax refund, and it was like, you gotta pay five grand. I said, yeah. you bullshitting? Yeah, I, I gotta pay. I ain't never paid before in my life. He was like, yeah, you made, <laughs> yeah, you made some good money. You gotta pay. I as said, as you get damn. Into this. Yeah. If you're used to your at home W two, if you're used to whatever your full time job, you clock in and out W two, get a refund. As soon as you start doing this stuff, freelance, uh, ten ninety nine work, anything man. else, you owe. Yeah. And, and oh, you, you work for yourself. That. Oh, you got you. You owe us, man. You yeah. work for yourself. And then so get man. This. It's so much so, easier when they just take it away before you even get it. <laughs> it's so much easier. So that that's what I was gonna say is, if you don't pay enough, you get. A penalty. If you pay right. too much, you get a penalty. Right. And it's like, what? Man. So I said so yeah. I actually I, I was going I was going to be able to pay like around ten, ten thousand five hundred for last year. But uh I want to get uh how I'm, I'm re I rent this house right here, but I want to I'm getting into real estate, and so I was gonna buy a house, and so because of that, you know, you I didn't know any of this stuff because I've been broke my whole life. If whenever you get in a the house, they take the last two years of your tax returns. Right. Okay. But I didn't know that. So two years ago, I had my accountant, all the deductions that I could take legally, hey, take them all. I, I think I made like 107000 but she got it uh, down to like thirty grand with all my deductions and everything. Awesome. So last year, I did like one. Oh, uh, it was last year or two. Oh, no, no, not last year, right. 150, no, 167. 167. Due to deductions and everything, I was going to have to pay like 10 grand. But she got it down to like 50,000 that I was going to pay taxes on. But I was like, I need to show more money because, you know, I just started talking to like the realtor and they're telling me they go based upon your tax return. I'm like, oh, for real? I'm like, but all my stuff right. is deducted. They're like, yeah, don't, don't take the deductions. So I yeah, so my, now you got to eat crow for a while just so, so you can play that game. Take yeah. off legal deductions that I could legally take. And now I got to pay 15 grand. Right. But I'm showing like uh like almost 80,000 for my income, which is going to help me, you know, buy a house. Right. So I'm just learning all this stuff. I'm sure you guys knew that. But if you've been broke your whole life like me, hey, well, you know, I mean, I was getting I was getting my tax refunds back uh, till I was maybe 20, 29. And I, I grew up on free lunch. So, oh, I, there we I, go, yeah. you know, I was white broke. But yeah, hey, man, broke I, is broke. I, 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 I was I was pretty we, we did well with what we had, but we didn't have too much either. Uh, we, we always bring this up. Geeky and I are from the same area up there in Cleveland, and I was the same way. Actually, I went to a Catholic Cleveland, Ohio? up there in Cleveland. Yes, we're from Cleveland, oh, yeah, man, six, go, dude. I got family in Cleveland, Ohio. Last time oh. I was there was uh, Christmas '99. We had we yes. had um, my uncle Wilbur. He just passed away not too long ago. He was he was cool as hell, but Wilbur. he lived in Cleveland, Shout so I used to go there all the time. Nice. I was seven years old in 1999. Oh, there it is. Dang man, you're younger yeah. than me. How old was I? I graduated in '95, so I would. Oh been God, 23. I graduated yeah. 2010. I'm only 31 years old. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm 41. Yeah, see, uh, Keys and, and I PGT we're we're, the we're same similar age. generation. PGT is I look, I, still I look here. 25. I, know, but I saw I'm... comments asking about PGT. He's here. Yeah. Yo, All right. So so real quick before we bring PGT on, I I just wanna um give you guys a chance to talk a little bit, uh, maybe 90 talk about, you, you know, uh, Keys was saying that he shouted out all these people, uh, in his content, you know, of whose stuff he was using. You were the only person to, uh, show him any love back. Uh, just not that I know him a little yeah, bit. So, I'm, just, I'm just saying he's just a nice guy. Yeah. So he, he's just a well, nice so, guy. He'll, he'll probably shout you out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, here's my motto is, so I know that like, 
none of us right now have like millions of subscribers. So like I really do get I I do get back to everybody whether it takes, you know, a month, a few months. I'm backlogged on comments, backlogged on donations. And it's like there are times where I'm on my phone and I'll see where I'm tagged right away in something and I'll be able to see that right away and Rookie Mycologist was one of the ones and I'm like, all right, this is some great 90 second rice bag content because there's a lot of people where you see me on lives before where I say, yeah, I encourage everybody to, to, to post 90 second rice content. Yeah. And then, but then there's also people that will post it and it's literally just a copy of my video. So it's like, okay, you know, that's all right. But then rookie took the initiative to be like, Hey, I learned what I learned from 90. Go check him out to see the original. I'm learning along with 90. You guys want to learn along with me? Go to 90. He kept shouting out 90, and I'm like, you know what? That's really cool. Like, you didn't just go, all right, here's what you do for Uncle Bun Tech. Like, there are people that go to TikTok, just steal it. Literally, they were posting my videos, PGT, Boomer Shroomer. Somebody just stole all of our videos, put them on TikTok. So, man, it's really cool to, to watch my videos and then be able to post what you've learned from me and just say, hey, you want to see more in-depth stuff because people who know me, they know my videos aren't 90 seconds long. No. They're like two hours long. Yeah, yeah, long videos. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's about the 90-second rice. And, like, it's great that you already had a following and that you're bringing more people over to this because, like you said earlier, there's so many haters. And it's so funny. And look at how great we're doing with 90-second rice all the time. I watched that video. I love it. You did the video about, like, why there's so many. I, I, I forgot what the, the name of the oh, video Oh, yeah, show was. this to the haters. Yeah, and show this like, video to the haters. And then when I did the first videos, every time it was like, yo, why are you doing tonight? I'm like, why, why, are you, why are you guys hating on it? You see it's working for me. It why works. Yeah, you're on, like, you're on season three. Season three of yeah. Start to Finish Uncle Ben. <laughs> and it's been three seasons, and it's all pure success. That's you're it. saying it's and all you know fake crazy to these haters? I don't have any uh, haters on it now, but I saw. I think they kind of got it. But it's so crazy. Like, well, I don't know why people hate on it so much. It's like a cheap way for people to get into it. You don't have to invest a lot of right. money, yeah. and you can do mycology. Like, I don't understand the problem. All right, Keith, don't lie. We know you want the Uncle Ben sponsorship, bro, because you know they're selling oh, man, a lot can, of rice. Oh, man, if I can get it, you, you can know they're me? selling oh. a lot of rice. Man. Trust me. <laughs> I've reached out a couple times, and they think I'm just a joke. So maybe if 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 rookie <laughs> reaches out, I'm trying to tell you, I will take it. <laughs> you guys know I'm, I'm listening. If man, I'm legal, telling you right now, if I ever go to the grocery store and Keys, I see your face on some Uncle Ben's. Man, I'm trying to tell you, I'm the new Uncle Ben's. It's Uncle Keys right <laughs> now. Uncle Keys, ninety seconds. Uh, actually, rice. no, it's Keys original. You can't say Uncle. Okay, oh yeah, right, 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 exactly. They're gonna put me on the slave ship. Oh, Uncle Keys, oh, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll get too far. My no, bad. So I actually uh, a lot of a lot of people recommended that I call and try to get like coupons, saying I love it so much, get coupons for free product. Right. And it's they have a prompt on their phone number for Mars Inc. that says, uh, <laughs> you know, we don't give out coupons to our people. We know so many people love our rice, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> here we go. Wow. Oh, yeah, Wyatt Wyatt L. said, looking for a Savvy Fair sponsorship. I've been pimping Savvy Fair from Dollar Twenty Five Tree. I've got, uh, like, I bought cases of it right off the shelf of the trees in my area. They're not in all Dollar Trees right now. But the ones I found, uh, I, I, took, I bought them up. I got some devious licks. On oh, man. Savvy I live, Fair, my house is, you. like, so close to, like, Two dollar trees and dollar generals. Go check every tree oh, because yeah. people go to a tree, it's not there. They go to the next tree and it's there. It's not mainstream yet. Ah. And, See, I got uh, the I got the case off of Amazon, the case of twelve. Right, that's what I tell people to go bucks. to. I have a supply list, ninety second mycology slash supplies, and like you mentioned earlier, it's all Amazon affiliates. A little bit go. of a kickback. There you go. And I've got start to finish supply lists right there. I've got the Uncle Ben Tech, my popcorn tech, the Lazy Boy Tech pressure cooker tech if you want to move on so and all this stuff is important because man i tell you what my time in the community a little over a year and a half now and the push is just go all in immediately i mean the push is like what you're on day three you haven't bought a pressure cooker yet what you're on you're on you've been doing this for a month why haven't you bought a mac 10 yet some people don't have that money yeah. All American. Uncle Ben's is cheap. Like, I could have, I'm like, because I came in with a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying? I could have bought everything right off the get go. 
but it's the rookie mycologist. So how would it be the rookie mycologist? Hey guys, look at this flow. <laughs> look at these pressure cookers I got. I'm a rookie. Right. Like, that don't make oh, any sense, rookie. Yeah, it'd be like watching Elon Musk grow mushrooms. I well, guys, guy. we're gonna guy. let me enter my level three clean room here, and uh, yeah, get yeah. out of here. This just made me think. I want to lose this thought. So, um, as you know, there are people out there that there are micro vendors. It's people say it's saturated, but everybody has their own vibe. So you can buy sterile grains, and the average price is like twenty dollars for three pounds. So if you've got a dollar tree in your area. Everything right now is $1.25. So three pounds of grain spawn already prepared, sterile, ready to inoculate is around only, it's like, what is it, $7? Because right. one bag of 90-second rice is around one pint of grain spawn. So two bags of 90-second rice is, is equal to a quart of grain spawn. So each bag of brown rice weighs around 8.8 .8 ounces. So... You're getting a little over, a little over three pounds of grain, for between seven to ten to fifteen dollars, depending on if you're American, Canadian, or whatever. So you're still saving money compared to people right. who, you know, it, it is other people's living. There are people that love to produce grain substrate, but you can still just get started at your local right. corner store. And and pick up. I mean, some people don't know grain. if they like to grow mushrooms, right? You, right. That's where the fruiting from Just the bag documentary out. comes in. Figure I'm making out. more fruiting from the bag videos for my Patreon, which it's still on the waiting list, which means if you join the waiting list, uh, Patreon sends you an email as soon as I go live. And there's going to be so much 90 second rise content that and um, that it's just going to make everybody like shit themselves, like literally. So I can't mm. wait for that. You can keep that. I don't want to shit myself. Yeah, so just <laughs> to, keep the fecal flakes at bay by signing oh, up for the man. 90 Patreon wait list. Just keep the fecal so flakes out of it. <laughs> so, hey, what's up? No, hey, thanks to everybody in the chat. Appreciate no, y'all, man. No, no, no fecal flakes. Uh, but yeah, 90 second rice, literally fruiting from the bag. And you just throw, nice. you just case those grains with a little bit of cocoa coir. Yeah, yeah, and it's ready to go. Oh, here's so, something and, that's going to be on the channel coming up that I that's new for me in a way. On different videos, I always heard, you know, if you, if if you have a, you know, you get contaminated, whatever reason, instead of throwing it away, you can know you can plant it in the backyard, wait a little bit, you might get some mushrooms right there. So I just had a bin that was contaminated, so I planted it outside, and we're going to see if we grow some mushrooms outside. Nice. That's going to be pretty cool. There are a lot of people that ask, why would I bury it outside? Because remember, my main slogan is that common sense will almost always prevail. Some people just don't, they don't get it. But if you're going to throw it outside, there's a chance that you will get some mushrooms. Give there's it a, a shallow grave. Right. Keep That's it why wet. a little shallow grave, I just, my water hose outside, just can't see, give this a little bit of moisture That's it. here. Just make it wet. Yeah. Let's see what happens. It. I just did that like two or three days ago, so we'll see. There we go. That's content, too. If I, I'm going to, I need a backyard soon so that I can get some outdoor content going. Oh, yeah. My entire backyard is just one slab of concrete, but in the corner of the fence, I, I don't know how to, who designed that, whatever, but there's like a cutout. And I had some some um, substrate that I, not substrate, we're talking about, I'm talking about cannabis. I had some medium, grow medium, which is just cocoa, that I that I had some old and I just threw it out there. So I'm like, hey, I can bury this with this. So I just took some cocoa and I'm like, oh, this already has cocoa in it too. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Some rough material made from the shells of coconuts. Yeah. Let's happen. Let's see what happens. Well, so are you in LA? No, I moved from California. Oh, you moved from to so, Texas. Right. So I was in Texas. Oh, I thought you went from Texas to okay. I went from Texas to California and I moved from um I moved to California April first, two thousand and twenty, right in the middle of the okay. pandemic. And so that's when I started just living from the from the content, everything that I made from being a content creator. That's when I right. started living exclusively off of just making content. I was there a year and a half. And so what happened, the place that I lived in Texas is called El Paso, Texas. It's where Fort Bliss is. It's where mm -hmm. Fort Bliss is, the, the sure. base. And I lived on the west side of El Paso. So I literally lived on the border of Texas, New Mexico, and Mexico, but on the Texas side. So my house, I could be in New Mexico in about two minutes 
I could be in the country of Mexico in about 10 minutes, depending on what port you go to. Nice. So I moved to, from Texas to California, was there a year and a half. And what happened was New Mexico put recreational cannabis on the uh, ballot. So I started watching that. And then they approved it. And then the governor signed it in the law. And I said, oh, I'm out of here. Because <laughs> in California, right. if you know the cannabis community, it's super big. There's people have been doing that for years. Right. And if you want to get in there like for real and be legit, you got to come with like $2 million at minimum right. if you want to get in. But for New Mexico, and like I said, I was already in this area. And just now I live on the New Mexico side. Now I can be in Texas in about two or three minutes. Right. And I can still be in Mexico in about 10 minutes, but I'm on the the New Mexico side now. Yeah. And in New Mexico, it's 100% legal, recreational and everything. So if I was going to pay a million dollars to get a grow license in California, a million a million to $2, you're going to need for just the right. license. They ain't counting the building and everything else. Here, it's better to get in on the bottom floor where if you want to get a growing license here, 3500 Wow. You want to get a license? Yeah, that's donor. a little different. You want to get a license donor dispensary, forty five hundred. Now that's 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 some real money. Now that's a lot of money, but if you say a million dollars, you might as well say a hundred million dollars because I ain't got it. But you know what I mean, thirty five hundred. That's the that you can come up with. You want to have a you want to have a dispensary service where you can just ride around and deliver to people. Add two more thousand dollars on there. Wow. So you can have a commercial grow, a dispensary, and a delivery service. You got $12,000. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the reason why I came back is because I want to be in the cannabis business for real. And so coming here and being on the bottom floor, plus I've been here since 2001. The army sent me here January 1st, 2001. And I've been in this area ever since. So over 20 years. So people already know me for cannabis in this area. So it just makes sense that's for awesome. me to come so that's why I'm in New Mexico now, nice. and I'm a uh, I'm gonna be right here. Yeah, man, just keep that keep that little corner wet. Uh, that's it. I, yeah, you just gotta keep it a little moist back there. That's it. Yep, and it'll grow. All right, man. Well, um, thank you so much for being on. Uh, I mean, Keys, you're just you're killing it. Um, love watching all your stuff. Can't wait to see over the years you just grow and develop, and man, you, you know, learn and and get better and it's a cat man man i'm really hoping that you get to keep showing fruit in your videos for as long as humanly possible oh no um, i'm gonna keep doing it no matter even if they de like demonetize me or whatever right i'm gonna keep doing it so if That's you like the great. content it's just gonna get better and better as i improve my skills i do feel like i'm getting better at it but you know oh, I'm, yeah. I'm i'm definitely not an expert you know that would be a a, a a strike against the real experts 90 second PGT, all the rest of the, the community. I'm a rookie. Yeah, well, as you guys better. know, oh, I was man. just recently demonetized and I was able to actually go through my whole channel. I edited so much stuff and I actually deleted a few videos to move to Patreon exclusively and I was able to reapply and they let me back into the YouTube. Oh, they gave it back to you. That's great. Nice. So I only missed out on like two months worth of ad revenue. And oh, perfect. I don't make anything near probably PGT and rookie for some reason, you know, like you said, subs don't mean views. Yeah. Exactly. So I mean, subs don't subs don't equal the, the money. Yes, yeah, so subscribers it's don't about the views view. and, and the passive income on the ads. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. But you can definitely, if you, if you follow what we was talking about in the video, you can definitely make a living doing, I'm like a content creator advocate. So I think I try to get all my friends, yo, create a YouTube channel, create, because it just changed my life. It changed everything for me. And think about this. Six months ago, I was watching 90 Second My College. Well, I still watch your videos now, but six months ago, whenever I was starting, I'm learning from 90 Second My College, PGT, Willie Mike, all these people. A month ago, you just see me on a yeah. podcast with all these people. Think about Dude, that. that. When you said that, I was so happy. I, I thought that was so cool. It's so that, crazy uh, just how, yeah. how fast everything can just... And then, like, even on, on the cannabis side, all these established brands and stuff they reach out to me send me seeds give me all this different stuff yeah. and it's all because of the content so it right. really can change your life it changed my life 
And so I just wow. try to, I'm trying to really just share that with people and trying to get people to be a content creator too. This has been everything for me. Well, we love you, man. I think it's great. Um, I love the message. I, I also love the message of, you know, don't talk about it, be about it, go do it, give it a just try. Just get started. Get, That's all it is. Yeah, just get Don't started. think about it because you're going to... You're going to start talking to yourself. Oh, I don't got a camera. I don't got the right light. Right. I ain't got to sit up. Oh, he got a tent. I ain't got a tent. Don't do that. Whatever you have, just use that. Yeah, It'll be a, a lot more authentic because people can relate like that. I don't have it either. You know what I'm saying? So just exactly. start. That's the main thing. Just start. Cool, man. And all right. Well, thank you. Really thank you so much, dude. Look forward to uh, all your upcoming content and I uh, can't wait to have you back, you know, in uh, I don't know, five, six months and see, see where we're at. And what I do? think we definitely got to do the, we got to do an episode when you hit a hundred thousand. Oh, for sure. For sure. I think we got to do that. So that'll be great. Cool, man. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you soon and we'll, we'll keep uh, paying attention to your journey. Bye guys. Appreciate y'all. Shout out. Right, see you dude. See you rookie. All right, man. I'm, I'm going to throw up a couple of these. Look at 90 seconds. Um, he, he so, yeah, saying, I'm here right now. Yeah, I'm like, look, um, we have right now 291 viewers. Imagine $1. Come on, guys. Support my I know, man. It's and, just some um, spare change, guys. No, it's, it's okay. It so if, if, you guys wa- if you guys want to, you know, uh, shout me out with, with a sticker, I appreciate that. If you just want to sit back and watch, that's absolutely fine, too. Um, uh, let me pull one more up here. Uh my we hit sub. over 400 something viewers earlier. Imagine if everyone donated a dollar right then. Yeah, man, I could, I could, well, I could buy a couple capture cards. Hope I bought this one as a, a an affordable, inexpensive capture card. I think I'm gonna have to buy that Camlink one because this this one did not last very long. Uh, anyway, thank you, my Celium Seb. Um, and then I have one more shout out. Uh, 90 had told me that uh, Aaron uh, Robichaud uh, did a nice shout out uh, earlier as well. Really appreciate that. Um, So Monday nights, right? You know, uh, a lot of people in the Myco community uh, looking forward to hanging out and uh, listen to people on on my podcast. And then now Tuesday nights, we got something special going on Tuesday nights. Uh, Let's talk about it. You want to bring on your partner here? Uh, Yeah, PGT is the main thought process behind this. PGT Media reached out to me. And said, hey, let's bring them in. We PGT Conglomerate crazy. Incorporated LLC S Corp. Let's do it. That's right. All right, guys. I know in he's the, here somewhere. In the, uh, in the chat, there was a little, everybody got real preoccupied. Like the minute somebody's got a mask on, everybody wants them to pull it back, right? Wizard of Oz, man behind the curtain. Uh, anyway, tonight, we, if you guys have not watched the Myco Game Show yet, you are going to be in for a treat because um, uh, our boy uh, PGT here has got something special for you. So let's it's uh, let's bring him on here. I'm going to shout out a couple more um, super stickers we got going here. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate the support. And I think that got me caught up. Okay. All right, so without further ado, here he is, the husky, or what is this, an Ibizu unicorn? Here it's he me, is, guys. The, the man, the myth, the oh. legend. You guys wanted to know what he really looked like. He's a talking Japanese dog. Yes. I love I, it, I dude. Could, it's a magical experience. I mean, I could be anything, really. Why not? I like this. I, 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 I highly endorse, you know, I have a rainbow on my head, right? You should have a rainbow on your head, too. It's all good. Yeah, Nanny, get yourself a rainbow hat. Yeah, oh, I mean, we, coming, don't worry. we do oh. need the we need the colified uh, uh, 90 second mycology hat. We need we need a rainbow somewhere on there. Oh, yeah. Maybe some orange on the hat, too. That's that's in the that's in the works for sure. Orange is mandatory. Yeah. Yeah. What's taking so, you so long? Um, yeah, but it also matches the tapestry behind me, so it's like a, it's a win-win. True. true so true, we'll true. see. Yeah, you got you got a good thing going with the black and white and orange. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I cannot. <laughs> this this watching you <laughs> watching know, PGT know. laugh it's, 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 as this it's... dog is like the best thing ever right now. <laughs> oh, you you want to know what else is funny? Like when, when I put on glasses, like the oh. eyes start spazzing out. Like oh my gosh, this. that's so funny. 
Uh, <laughs> right. I don't your know. Ear, it, it, did it, you it, just yeah. see your ear wiggle? <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's too funny. All right. So why we're here? Because so I, I really think this is awesome. Um, I think this marks like a little evolution in in the community is an, a coordinated effort to create entertainment and educational content for the community and start looking at this like, you know, the, the networks did where they're like, what do we have for Monday night? What do we got for Tuesday night? Yeah. You know, I, I, I think this is, uh, this is important. And if, if you guys, uh, anybody out there is like sort of hip to uh, motivational speaking and stuff like that. I remember hearing a motivational speaker, uh, one time at a conference I was at talk about, uh, the first follower. So this idea is that it doesn't matter who the, who the first to do something is. It matters who the first follower is. Who's the person that lets everybody in the crowd know this is cool. This is a good idea. And if you Google this, there, there's a video of a, a, a concert out in like lawn seats. And this guy's just dancing and everybody's ignoring him. And then one other person gets up and starts dancing with this guy. And then all of a sudden people notice these two people dancing, and then another person, then another person. And the whole concept is that, right, I'm just a crazy motherfucker if I'm just doing this by myself. But the minute one other person says, oh, this is cool, I want to make some content, you, you know, for, for people in my community to watch. So I'm really excited. I think this is awesome that, that you guys started this. So, so tell us the whole story from the beginning. Uh, PGT, how'd you come up with the idea? Um, and, and then walk me through the development process. Uh, I want to hear it all. Sure thing. So uh, the idea originally was inspired by one of Mrs. PGT's artwork. So she had a sketch that she had came up with for one of my thumbnails. Uh, she does all my thumbnails. So I, I have very blessed to have great artist talent to, to help me out with the channel. And the original sketch that she did was just kind of, she, she likes taking inspiration from other ideas and kind of throwing PGT into the mix. So a lot of the stuff you see PGT on there, like the, the spore thing, and it's all caricatures for PGT. And one of them she had was just him sitting on a chair with his hands up on, on his chin and he's behind a desk and it's kind of like that scene from like, who wants to be a millionaire? And she kind of just made it initially as kind of like a joke thing. She never really finished that entire sketch, but on there has a caption that says, who wants to be a mycologist? So, I, I mean, one day that, that, that thumbnail thing just kind of came to mind like saying like what what can we do to kind of innovate to to the community something that hasn't been done before um we want to try and stand out and provide something that is fun mycology educational and one of the, the main reasons we wanted to start this is to give back to the community really the the community is kind of what helped build you know us up 90 b Willie, Rookie, obviously, Michael, you too, Michael Geeky. The community brings us together here, so we want to give back to the community in a way, and and what better way than this game show? We can have community come on, win prizes, we can have sponsors come on as well, share their exciting new products in the mycology field, and in the process, if we make, if we can monetize, we started a, a completely new channel for this because, um, we, we want to have this be its own thing. Um, I mean, yeah, it is related to mycology, but now we have an option to now create content that is not based around to how to, you know, cultivate and, and how to how to do this and that. It's more or less just general knowledge and it's general entertainment. It's, it's more towards the entertainment side of things. We're not taking things too seriously. It's more like a chill time. Come hang out with 90 PGT, learn some cool mushroom stuff, have fun at the same time. And that that's ultimately what we wanted to do. And along the way, my, my wife um, had ran into one of uh, 90 Seconds uh, live stream on Instagram. Um, he was uh, showing off his, his bags and... Oh, uh, God, yeah. The vapors. <laughs> the vapors and... The PGT uh, vapors. 
Yes, I, I, I've, I've sent some papers out. Uh, it reminds me, I, I gotta give some love to, to Rookie as well. I know he shouted me out, and uh, I, I just kind of been behind on my comments. I must have, must have lost it, so uh, I, I'm in a backlog when it comes to YouTube comments and all that. It's, it's a board, and I, I can deal with to the point where I, I'm, I'm having someone help me with the comments because I can't handle it all by myself. Uh, it's there's a lot of other things that I have to put my time to, my family, my dogs, and and other responsibilities and you know it, it's getting to be a lot so i i like getting help and yeah it's it's i, I could be behind on it but i just wanted to spread the love wherever i can and the, the game show uh was kind of the idea that started it and i i didn't i i kind of wasn't sure if i could do it myself but my wife really thinks that 90 has such a peculiar character to him he's very funny very energetic and uh, he's like hey why don't, why don't you have 90 like you know come and, and co-host with you on this i think he's a great personality for this so uh we reached out to 90 and he was ecstatic about the idea here and for a while we were kind of collaborating on this together and we we kind of were just keeping it down low uh we would love to come on here to, to talk about it a bit sooner but we wanted to make sure we iron out all the kinks with it um you know do a pilot episode and see how the community responds to it and from there you know see if it's a worthwhile venture to pursue and from the pilot episode it has been a great success a lot of views came in from both of our you know communities coming in a lot of sponsors people want to sponsor people want to come on as contestants like uh it, it went better than you know i had anticipated and and i think the michael game show is, is something that's gonna gonna continue to, to go on as long as there's community support for it there's people that would like to see it we can continue to keep doing this and the content creation on this is, is much more lax compared to scripting videos coming up, filming everything for that, putting in the time to edit all those videos, <laughs> putting in extra, it's, it's a lot more work, whereas this allows us to continue to create more content at, at a more regular pace, but um, as well as involve community into it because it, it, the community is, is growing and any way to get the community more interactive together is a positive thing. Well, let me tell you this. So I've said this before. I'm going to keep saying it again. A lot of people come in this community, uh, you know, super happy people that got everything they want in the world um, and everything's going right for them and they're well adjusted, no trauma, no nothing. Those people, uh, they don't smoke weed. They're not on, they're not, you know, drinking alcohol. They're, everything's going great for those people. So my assessment of this community is there are a lot of people in this community who are suffering from trauma, abuse, addiction, you name it. And they come in here and at our best, we can become a community, a family. We can show that we generally care about people and then we can teach them how to grow this medicine that can help them out. And uh, above and beyond all that at its real best is once people integrate to some degree into the community, um, then we can make it fun. Like it's fun to grow mushrooms. It's cool to grow the new, you know, the new, new cultigen, the new variety, the new isolation, the new cross, you know, it, it's just fun. It's so things like collector cards that PGT does, um, doing a podcast on Monday night. This is all stuff we're just trying to make. We're trying to bring the community together more and show how big the community is. There's so many different kinds of people who, who, who are in this community. Um, the, the, I, I mean, I, I know PGT can probably speak to this, but I ship stuff to people that live in trailers and I ship stuff to people that live in multi-million dollar homes. Um, and everything in between and in darn near every state in this country. So this is all over the place. And uh, I think doing a game show, of course, it's of course, it's working. You guys know what you're doing. It's fun. Right. Game shows are fun. People like yeah, watching I don't game think, shows. Well, yeah. I, well, what I mean is I think people I don't think we've said it yet. I mean, we've mentioned like Michael Game Show. We're talking about. A mycology game show that yeah. PGT and I have been working on. You can find it on all the social media, YouTube, 
Michael Game Show, Instagram Michael Game Show, because I uh, I did not do my due diligence on promoting the pilot episode on Reddit. I had somebody comment and go, what happened? Did I miss it? They thought it was on my channel or PGT's channel. No, it's a whole new, brand right. new collaboration channel called Michael Game Show on YouTube. So if you weren't aware of that, make sure you're looking it up right now and you're touching the like button right there on the channel. Man, I got you already know I got it in the description. It, it, it's in the description, all the links. Read that from. description. It's right there. Uh, yeah. it's, for some reason, people still don't read the description. I don't know why, but... uh. Yeah, people Check don't it. like to read. It's okay. Check well, it. What are you gonna? So, do? Yeah, we give it. We have the. Uh, check it. Yeah, check it. We have the first pilot episode up. Uh, the first, the very first episode was the um, unfortunate news. It was an announcement about PGT, and then yeah. we did the pilot episode. And then um, I saw in the chat earlier, Tip of the Cat Mushrooms asked if we're doing a show tomorrow. Uh, there's no show tomorrow. We're still meeting to to figure out. You know. Work out the kinks on what the next epi episode should it be. And that's why I say follow all the social media so that we keep you updated on when we're going to have the next show. We're still trying to figure everything out. But the first show, the pilot episode, if you were there in real time, a lot of people had fun with it. Uh, the dynamic we had and like it was just it, it was great. You got to go see it. Can't even talk about it. You just have to watch it. I had a blast. I loved it. There's a lot of coordination that goes into the Michael Game Show. It's it's more than just me and 90 here. There, there's people as well working with us to help behind the scenes as well. Mrs. PGT being uh, one of them and one of my mods. Uh, uh, I'm going to give him a shout out here. Shout out to Inertia uh, to help me out on the... Um, coordinating everything setting up discord so it, it, it's a it's a team project here that, that we're doing so it, it, we have inputs on you know multiple people to try and make this happen so uh me and 90 being on the front here just letting you guys know that there, there is more to it and hopefully we can grow the michael game show into you know something that the community can watch grow as well so i think that's part of it like with anything, any show that comes on TV, anything in the world, you've got to come out with the pilot, and then you learn from the pilot. We've already got a bunch of things that we learned from that one night, when it, and it was just me and PGT in the live chat. We do plan to have real contestants on, so we were able. So to that's take what I wanted to ask about. So, yeah, where's the application coming. to uh, audition to be a contestant? It's coming for sure. All That's right. something that we're, we're trying to work on. And we learned, like I said, we learned so much from that pilot episode. We've got so many more um, ideas and stuff to keep it going. And I, I think, I don't know, it's not official, but I think maybe the next episode will be switched to where it's a game show where I'll host it and PGT might be the contestant that that might be where we're going with the second episode. I don't know. I'm just, I just threw that out there. That's right oh, out of man. my ass. So I mean, PGT there's could, a... could say yes or no. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we want to kind of see where this is kind of can go into, but yeah, we're, we're kind of starting things off uh, and we're kind of picking up the pace onto it. I mean, we're not ready to really hit the ground running with this. There's a lot of work that goes behind uh, into creating it, you know, researching all the mycology questions coming up, uh, trying to innovate on them just to make it more fun and interesting uh, right. rather than something kind of boring. So it's it's a lot of work gets put into it and a lot of, you know, meetings get involved into to putting this together. So we, we, we enjoy doing it, though. It's, it's been a blast to, to hang out and... and you know, yeah, bond and with Michael other Geeky. mycologists over this, and and now you know between just us, uh, bond. We, now we can bond with thousands of other you know mycologists and mycology beginners or advanced or experts, whatever it is. You know, now there's a place that we can come hang out, talk about mycology, and have fun, and and just kind of be a little bit lax. Like it's kind of like a why so serious kind of like thing. Like just just. You know, a, a lot of hate can kind of fly around here and there, but this is like this is just fun. This is just this. We're just having fun. We're doing having fun talking about mycology, learning about it. You know, what's there to hate, really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know how you hate on it, but uh, I know this. Um, there's a lot of kinks to iron out, man. When I watched it, I was like, "Holy cow, these guys are." 
like, I don't know how you did it, but it, it's impressive. And, and I'm sure it's only going to get better. And once you really get the process nailed down, I imagine it'll be, you know, full steam ahead. And, and uh, uh, so when I lived in Los Angeles, uh, I studied uh, with an acting coach for a while. One of my buddies in that class, he had been on Jeopardy. He won. He was a five five day winner. And uh, after, you know, he got his big payout and all that, they asked him to write uh, Jeopardy questions for them. He did that for like eight years. And uh, he said that it's literally a room of like 30 people that just show up every day and just write Jeopardy questions together. So when you guys put it all together, I was like, wow, you know, it's just two guys putting the show together. I, I was I was impressed. That's one thing we mentioned. Well, I think I don't know if we mentioned it maybe on the pilot, but the announcement I did before the pilot is. We want to add a lot of variety. So, like, what you saw in the pilot isn't going to be 100% what the show is always going to be about. Every episode is not going to be right. like that. Even when we bring on contestants, you know, we're still trying to work out, you know what they say, stuff will look good on paper, and then if we actually try to implement it, it might not work as well. So, really just trying to figure out what we can do. Because, like what PGT mentioned earlier, there's a lot of planning and meeting that goes into it, even just for me and PGT and, and PGT with the people helping us out, his wife and Inertia, the mod, and, and I'm sure we're going to bring more people on, is, you know, you're going to have contestants that once we figure out what we're going to do, they're going to be on, and then all of a sudden they go, oh, I can't make it. Like, people won't commit. We, we all commit to the Michael Geeky podcast 9 p.m. on Monday nights. If you're serious about it, like I said in the chat, one of Walt Disney's quotes was, if you can dream it, you can do it. And you have to be committed to it. Just right. like the rookie mycologist said, keep pumping out videos, even if you get one view, and eventually you're going to reach the right audience. So, yeah, man, I, I can tell you, uh, I, I was in bands, uh, and, and one band I, I was in for 11 years, and we did, I don't know, four or 500 shows in Detroit before we moved to Los Angeles. And some of those shows were hype. We had hundreds of people. We were rocking out. We played cool, you know, cool venues like the blind pig and St. Andrews hall and stuff like that. And other times we were, you know, <laughs> it was us and just two drunk chicks just screaming at us. And you know, it, it's a grind, you know, you, you have to, but what you always have to do is realize that you're honing that craft. You're, you're, you're toughening up, you're honing the crap. So you guys have already killed it out of the gate. It's only going to get better. Um, man, I still deal with people not showing up to, you know, <laughs> it's not always quite as public as, as some of my nights have been where people didn't show up. But other, other times, you know, people will bow out a day before, two days before. Um, and I got to... I got to, I got to have back burner, you know, guests ready There's to go way, and I got to pull favors and yeah, to, to consistently be a way to help people need to commit and it yeah. needs to be, you know, keep it professional because, you know, there are other people like we've got the Michael Kiki podcast on Mondays and then we've got fresh cat mushrooms who started the mushroom show. And now and he's, got, he's to... got episodes all, like it's pretty much every day. <laughs> right. And it's like when you've got the time and money, for sure, we could all be doing stuff. And just like with creating mushroom videos, you got to wait for the stuff to grow to finish the video. That's at least my motto. I'm not going to release just a part one and two of inoculating a 90 second rice bag. I'm going to show you what it looked like from the beginning to the end. But um, but right here, what well, Michael Bones just donated $20 to the Michael Geeky podcast and said, Mondays are never bad when you get to look forward to the Michael Geeky podcast. And that's kind of what we're all going for is we've got such right. a little niche community here. Where it's like, oh my god, I've been watching PGT 90, now the rookie mycologist, Michael Geeky, and now they're going to commit to doing something. Right. Every Monday night, every Tuesday night, what's going to happen Wednesday, Thursday, right. Friday, Saturday, you know? And this this is just... Sky's the limit, movie. guys. I yeah. mean, I tell you what, as I get to know all the people in my Discord, um, you know, you think you know somebody, and then they tell you a part about themselves, and you're like, oh... You used to be a music producer. Oh, you're a math professor. Oh, you're, uh, you know, you used to do cybersecurity for uh, another country. And you just don't know who's in the community. And, and I really think, um, you know, uh, this game show is a great idea. I think there are people out in the community who 
might be able to bring their talents and resources uh, together on this one. I think the sponsors uh, are going to start realizing, oh, I, I could sponsor the the prize for uh, you know tonight's game show, and now it's not hard to get some contestants to show up because you know something's on the line that they, they might win some money and i man i think if you guys stick with us it, it's it, it's gonna do well i think it's a really good idea and is i this, think sorry, well, i was go. gonna say that's what we're going for is um yeah. sponsors and people who just want to plug an advertisement and it's a, it's really about giving back to the community so like once it does start to generate revenue we want to actually show that we are donating and putting money into certain researches and charities right. because there are people that say, oh, yeah, I do it. Oh, yeah, I sent 10000 to whatever research ketamine last year. Okay, where's the proof? They never show it. That's one of our goals is to be able to, to do this stuff, help people out, entertain people, and just like, you know, we and plugging everybody who wants to be on, you know, if you want to pay for an ad spot that goes right to the right back into the show and stuff like that. So... Even if you, we're going to have sponsors who want to have uh, sponsor the prizes for the show, but then there's also sponsors who want to pay for an ad spot on, say, the intermission screen as we all take a little break and stuff like that. So with the pilot episode, we learned a lot on what we can still work on for the next episode. Right. And once we get it all ironed out, we can come up with a consistent schedule with contestants, where to sign up, how to get in, what's next. Yeah, we just really want to push the, the envelope forward in the, the mycology community and just kind of help push it to grow because we, we've all seen since the pandemic happened how mycology has, has been blowing up. So uh, we, we kind of feel that we want to push it in the right direction, in the positive light. We, we want to make it well known that what this medicine can do wh how helpful it is and how beneficial it is and a lot of people don't know a lot of people are finding out and people are enjoying the community the community is very inviting and very positive for majority of it at least and and we want to continue to foster that positivity inside the community and to right. help you know uplift others along the way well i just think like the same way that uh uh, Keys was talking about just one night he's like on YouTube and he sees a, a unicorn with a rainbow mohawk and he clicks on that thumbnail and next thing you know he's watching our podcast and and, and he's you know uh, talking in the in the chat and um, you know people are cool and nice and that that was entree into at least this little world um, so you never know. You, you know, maybe somebody just goes mycology game show and they click and, you know, by the end of the show, they go, oh, cool. Oh, I didn't know about this. And, oh, I, I got exposed to, you know, so-and-so or whoever. And maybe now I'm going to go watch those videos. And, to you know, it's a great way to, uh, you know, spread the spores is not just literally spread the spores. For me, it's a mentality of spreading uh, the opportunity for people to experience uh these mushrooms and, and see if it's for them and see what it can do for them well, so and there's I, a, I think it's great there, there's a lot that goes into it too because if you think about your local radio talk show they've got phone screeners so it's like oh yeah we we can't have a contestant come on and all they're doing is just promoting their telegram and their instagram right. and oh follow me on youtube you've right. got to be mature about it you're here to compete you're here to have fun all right and it's like yeah, it's one of those things where you have to for, for the contestants. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just like imagine if all of us came on Michael Geeky every night and all we did was just promote our own shit all the time. You know. Right. We're we're still respectful to keep it on topic with the podcast. Well, the great but... thing about my podcast is I'm all about like if if you do vend, then of course we're gonna talk about it. If you got a yeah, YouTube channel, we're about. gonna talk about it. I, I'm not, you know, this isn't the me, me, me show. This is this is the you guys show. This is, let's talk about what you guys are up to. So um, that's great. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to be a contestant on a game show, it's not a, an opportunity to specifically plug, you know, what your, your grind. Yeah. Agreed. Well, yeah, I, I'm excited about it. We're both excited about it. And... I think it's it's just yeah, something different. 
You it know? is, it is, and and, and being ninety, we we've, we've talked for a while about collaborating. Like when yeah, we, when ninety had first started his see. channel, and they, they wanted to see us collaborate. But for the longest time, we had some trouble figuring out how exactly can like two mycology YouTubers collaborate per se. Right. It's kind of like, do we just send each other different, like, P.O. Pinos and like, hey, let's try and grow it out or something. But they would call it, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not sure, too sure about that. So, yeah, we, we did do that, but it's just kind of hard to try and come up with um, collaboration between the channels. And, and I think this game show has, has been a uh, that key to, to allowing us to, to be able to work together and provide something completely new uh, to the space and, and it's, it's, it's kind of wonderful to, to, to watch it grow. Yeah, if you if well, some of the OG ninety fans will remember. I used to go live quite frequently on my channel before. Um, you know, there's just some drama and other stuff that happened, and it's like, it's one thing to collaborate going live like this, where we have all three of us up on screen right now, but to actually be a part of something that can you know just a little bit different and get get the get the community more involved beyond just like taking a call on a radio show or shouting someone out in the chat, like to have a chance to actually be there and, and win something and, or get something for participating. It's just a different, yeah. different environment. I think it would be fun. Uh, you know, it gets so serious. It <laughs> Sometimes is. it yeah. gets so serious and it's like, guys, we're just, you know, we're just grown adults growing mushrooms here. It's, Let's just relax. Uh, tip of the cat mushroom that. said, 90 sec, you got to get that instant rice dollar store affiliate link to make the big bucks. So I mentioned earlier, yeah, I've been pimping this Savvy Fair $1.25 tree rice, and it's not at every store yet for some reason. Like I've got like three or four stores in my area that I've put on a list on where I can find it. And if you go to Dollar Tree's website, they've only got this other brand called like regal eats or something where it's just their white and jasmine rice for some reason the savvy fair brand is not on their website but i've tracked down the distributor is baxter's north america or baxter's na.com so yeah i'm all about it i gotta figure something out because you can have uncle ben's well i mean ben's original delivered to your door through my amazon links at 92mycology.com slash supplies but it's not the same as this new savvy fair for a dollar twenty five per bag. It's true. Man, I tell you what, I remember walking through some bougie kitchen store or something one time. We were we were up in uh Beachwood in Cleveland and uh there was like this yeah, little Beachwood. gourmet gourmet pack of uh of uh popcorn and it had like all these different colors of popcorn. And for some reason, I immediately flipped to 90, just thinking, like, I wonder if 90 is going to, like, come out with his little bougie pack of, you know, uh, Uncle Ben's rice, like a little gift pack or something. Oh, I just I just thought about this where, um, so I mentioned this earlier, where I will have a Discord coming back in my Patreon. It's going to be private. But I've already got some OGs in that Patreon, I mean, in that Discord server, to act as moderators later on. I don't, I don't know if any of them are here in the chat tonight, but... I just mentioned one of the things I want to try is just straight up cooking brown rice in a rice cooker, vacuum sealing it in a pouch through, with a food saver or whatever, and then running that through a pressure sterilization cycle just like they would in a factory. Right. And just to see, like, how would it turn out? It's the same process. And it's like, whoa, homemade 90 bags? Would somebody uh -oh. actually want that uh -oh. made by my hands? That's a lot of work. Here we uh, go. You know, that's a lot of work. But the fact that it was made by hand... Just something to think about. I don't know. Someone else yes. wants to try it. Let me know. Artisanal Uncle Ben's. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah it all, it it's all a starts delicacy. with an idea. And then once you have an idea and you really like it, you know, try and find ways to execute it. Find, find yeah. ways to, to put it into action. And then once you do, put it out there. Let people see it. And, you know, people yeah, man. let you know what they think. That is the great thing about. So I, I brought up that guy, Gary V, earlier. Um, and he had another video that, that really, uh, hit me. He, some, some lady was interviewing him and I forget, she was asking him something about, uh, you know, how much content do you, do you think these big companies need to make? Cause this guy like consults for all these big companies. 
And he's like, oh, oh, if you're a major corporation, you need to be creating like 200 pieces of content a day. And when he said that, I was like, what is this guy? What? 200 pieces of content. And he goes, yeah, because back in the day, everybody sat around in a room, you know, hi you hired the big shot, uh, um, you, you know, marketing, advertising firm, and, and all their big creative people sat around and came up, you know, with, with the where's the beef commercial, or they come up with the new Geico lizard or whatever, the Geico gecko. And uh, now it doesn't work that way. Now you just... You just, you know, you cast your line, and if it bites, great, and if it doesn't, you move on. And so I, I think you're really right. It's we got to have more people willing to uh, just put some stuff out there, try stuff, see see what works. Because the more quality content we have, uh, the better ambassadors we are for our community. Um, the more loving and kind we are, and inclusive to one another, and positive we are, the better ambassadors we are for our community and our cause. This is stuff you're just never going to hear me stop talking about. <laughs> Duckman, 20, 20, 20, 20 said, I will never grow in an instant rice bag, ever. Okay. Well, I don't know what you're doing here because uh, <laughs> it literally says get schooled by the rookie mycologist whose, whose main video took okay. took off. Were, yeah, uh, Duckman, <laughs> Duckman doesn't, he still wants to watch the show. It's all good. Yeah, no, no hate. I'm just, yeah. I just love calling comments out like that. It's just funny. People know I'm silly. They just want you to know. It's okay. I'm just being silly. I get it all the time. I'm sure you guys do too. Just, uh, you know. Yeah, hey, look up that handle. He's got the best. Yeah. Yeah. Telegram. It's all good. Um, yeah, look, I mean, the thing about uh, grown mushrooms is it didn't take me too long to figure out there's certain things that really got to be done one way. And then there are other things that can be done many ways. Like grain, anybody that tells you, this is the only grain you should use. That's not true. Absolutely not true. You can use all sorts of grain. There are grains that have pluses and minuses. There are definitely grains that seem to have more pluses than others and a lot more people use them. But uh, yeah, that's not true. Sterility yeah. when doing agar work? Absolutely. No, no shortcuts around that. You need sterility uh, during certain parts of the, uh, the cultivation process. Um, but yeah, so some people never going to use rice bags. I have never, I don't know if I ever will. Um, but I have absolutely no problem with, with anybody who does. I, I actually think it's fantastic. Yeah. We encourage everybody to try it. Like I know, uh, PGT has done it many times, but he, he doesn't want to post it. So I encourage PGT to, uh, post a video just like Ricky, my colleagues. Oh, you can call me out to make a Uncle yeah, Ben Yeah, man, he just here? called yeah, me he's out. Do it. He's about to, yeah. Tomorrow it's going to be uploaded. All, All right. right. I'm making a trip film. to the dollar twenty-five. I'm getting some savvy fare bags here from you. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, he knows about you're, it. You're recommending them to me. I'm gonna give him a the shot. Philly dollar twenty-five here. tree. Gonna get those savvy fare Johns. But yeah, I mean, I, I think the grains are, are, are excellent. I don't think there's any bad grains. I did the ultimate grain experiment. I, I put nine different grains to the test against each other, and they all produced. And they all produced on, on a pretty good basis, too. Like, none of it... Some can be better than others, but you have to know, there, there could be some other... Uh, issues at play here but besides just the grains but just letting you know they, they all work all the grains work i mean yeah. I, i've i've seen so far as people growing cubes off of uh, cigarette butts and and like it's it's amazing that what you know my slim can can take to as long yes. as everything is, is sterile um they they will just continue to colonize in and work work their way through it and and you right. know go through that whole life cycle and, and yeah, I, th I think we recently talked, I forget who was talking about this, but I, I concur with this. Um, at the end of the day, the, the best grain for any given person is what is available in your area that is uh, cost effective. And what grain do you like working with? So, uh, you know, some grains are less like oats work fairly well. I don't like working no soak, no simmer with just grains. If I run oats, I'm going to run, you know, 50, Philly, 50, 50 millet and oats. Uh, I get less clumping. I got to add gypsum. It's a pain in the butt. That's why now I just, I, I run popcorn because I'm going to do any of that crap. So everybody, you know, has got different grains. It's all good. 
Um, but for a lot of people, uh, Uncle Ben's is probably a great way to start. Not, I mean, not a not a bad thought process. Yeah, not at yeah, all. That's I mean, why... we're keep rustling up here as well. The the BRF tech, the, the brown rice flour yeah. tech, the, yeah. the original OG PF tech from you know Fanaticus here. That I mean. It's, it's just basically ground up brown rice uh, mixed in with some yeah. make you light that, like but brown rice is the nutrient that's that's the old g nutrients that you know cultivators have known for decades and now that we have them in a, in a little bag that's already pre-sterilized <laughs> from a, right. a grocery store it's like people are, are just having a you know having their minds blown out I'm like what the hell you can't do that and it's like but you can because it's brown rice. And it's sterile. Yeah, brown rice yeah. is really supreme. Brown rice in all forms. Flour, grain, whatever else. Brown rice, it seems like all mushroom species love to consume this brown rice. Because I've mentioned in other live streams before that like some species of mushrooms will not grow directly off the grain all the time. But then you put it on brown rice and they'll fruit right off of brown rice. Like That's the all around general well-rounded medium substrate for mushrooms it's just brown rice lion's mane will fruit off of brown rice flour cakes if, if you didn't know you don't have to get technical with it but it, it will yeah, oyster mushrooms so, as well yeah don't think too hard about it because common sense will almost <laughs> always prevail, always prevail. Yes. almost yeah, I, I mean, so for anybody listening who, who's new and has not yet started growing mushrooms, um, I, I think I think the advice from the rookie mycologist uh, for uh, creating content directly applies for growing mushrooms. Just just go for it. Stop talking about it. Stop thinking about it. If you're remotely interested in growing mushrooms, I mean, if you're watching this podcast, I can assure you, if you have not yet grown mushrooms, you've researched enough, go for it. Get in the Discord, pick a couple texts, and, and give it a go. So uh, I've brought this up before. Even if, if you're scared to do the whole, you know, sterile, antiseptic, sanitized tech, most most high-profile grocery stores now have mushroom kits either in the gardening section or the produce section where it's just simple oyster mushrooms you take home, cut it open, and spray it, you know, three times a day. That'll get you your first fruits. Doesn't matter if you started from the from scratch on up. You, you cut the bag open and you provided the environment to fruit those mushrooms. Those are your first fruits. Some, most, well, not most, some grocery stores carry that stuff now. If not, you can get it online. Yeah, Mushroom kit. You can, you can find kit. them at um, Lowe's and Home Depot in the garden center now. I, I've seen them kind of consistently stocked at, at Home Depot and Lowe's now. And Walmart, too. Walmart Garden Area will have those, those uh, grow kits as well. All right. So Duckman just wanted to be clear. He, he's he got nothing against it. Um, uh, it's just not for him. Um like I said, I, I also do, do not rock it. But again, the main thing that I hear so often is when people um, can't differentiate between, oh, you only do that. Oh, that's great. Well, then are you saying I, I can only do the thing you do? And there are many situations in this community where you know, you find a guru or you get in with a group and man, for some weird reason, it's like you have to utterly conform to the, the methodologies of that group. And that is not the way I roll. That's not what I advocate for. Everybody's in a different situation in life. Everybody has different, uh, they have a different living situation, which comes with its own constraints about what you can and cannot do. Um, I can walk outside with my pressure cooker in the backyard and I can pull the weight off after I do my first cook on popcorn. I can let it steam. No neighbors bug me or ask me questions. Uh, if I bring in a 50 pound bag of uh, a millet, nobody gives a crap. Um, I know many people who yeah. tell me all the time <laughs> they have to smuggle their grain into their house. They have nosy neighbors. They got people who don't like them. Like we're all in a different situation. We all have to make different decisions for growing. Um, 
So for a lot of people, it's buying some 90 second uh, style, you know, Uncle Ben's bags. Literally right from the grocery store, which you can also get Not popcorn from Walmart. Pop- popcorn is going up in price, though. So you can find 50 pound bags, 35 pounds, 35 pound bags of popcorn. And I guess right. that's not as weird to bring into your house or wherever you live because it's just popcorn. Like, oh, that guy must like popping corn. But if you're if it's like a fifty pound bag of horse oats in the middle of a big city, it's like, what's that guy doing right. with horse? Or oats? or you do what I do because I just buy Jiffy Pop at the grocery store, and a couple times I think I bought like twenty pounds once, and they said, oh wow, you had a lot of popcorn, and I said, oh, I use it for growing mushrooms. They never asked me another word. Oh, cool, because. Either, either, here's the thing in the <laughs> yeah. world, either people go, Oh, cool, you grow mushrooms, or they go, Oh my god, I'm sorry, I asked. Like, so, no worries, right? So, like, I've used that line because I'll, I just said in the chat earlier, I get my loose Eco Earth cocoa coir, you know, the rough material made from the shells of coconuts <laughs> mm-hmm. from the pet store, and they'll be like, Oh, what reptiles do you have? And I'm like, No, no, no. right. You can use this to grow mushrooms, and they're like, "What?" Because people, there's yeah. people that are like mushrooms. They they think they're gross. They're nasty. Right. But then there's the other half as well. Yeah, yeah, gardening right. plants. But then it's like when you ask somebody if they smoke, and they go, "Smoke what?" You know, it's fifty fifty. Right. You know, some people know what you're talking about. Some people don't. Like I said, everybody's in a different situation. I mean, in the past, I had neighbors a living situation where they were just the nosiest neighbors of all time. If, if I brought in uh, more than a six pack of beer, they were asking, Oh, you having a party, you know, just nosy people. So just Shit. everybody's in a different situation in life. The decisions that you make, the rationales that you use, right. Those might not apply to me and vice versa and vice versa and vice versa. You know, we, I got all I can do to worry about myself. I'm, I can make my own decisions for myself. I'm not remotely trying to tell 90 second what to do. I'm not trying to tell Philly Gold teacher what to do. Um, I'm letting you guys talk about what you do because I know there will be people who will want to do what you do. That's yeah. It's that easy. We've brought it up before. It's, it's the same example we use is um, everybody can make a bucket tech video. Everybody can read the same shroomery post about bucket tech. But the way that rookie mycologist does it, PGT, Michael right. Geeky, the way I do it, I don't have a book of tech video. I've got the oven tech video and right. a microwave tech I'm, I'm filming for the Patreon. And, and by the way, I don't know. I don't have a definitive timeline on when Patreon videos will hit YouTube. That's part of the process of trying to get people over to Patreon with, for the freedom of just trying to break away from YouTube. And, you know, growing the 90-second mycology empire because everybody knows I'm still just just like Michael Geeky. We all have full-time jobs during the day. I'm, I clock in, deliver stuff with a semi-truck, clock out, go home. And then I have a little bit of time to work on mushroom stuff. Right. Until 2 or 3 in the morning. That's right. And then I just take a nap and go back to work at 5 a.m. And, and you know. Yeah. I don't know, run yourself on like a few, few hours of sleep. I was kind of the same way too when I had started. Cordyceps. Yeah. So. Sorry, guys. I, I'm reading bit. some questions. I thought I had some questions and then the, the feed moved too quick and, and now I can't find them. Well, earlier I, I saw some, some chat messages about when the rookie mycologist was talking about the money aspect of all of this. A lot of people were getting bored with it. And, you know, I get it. Not every part of the stream is everybody's cup of tea. But there's also those people that want to get into this for right. the money aspect. And, like, the way I started was just editing videos and mushrooms were already one of my hobbies. So right. See, I think that's that's actually the point that I, I want to clarify. Uh when rookie was on when he was talking about it he never said oh this is not a, i don't love doing this at all he's always trying to turn his loves his hobbies his interests 
<clears throat> into something he can make money doing. That's the good old fashioned do what you love. You never have to work a day in your life. And while I don't believe that that statement, um, you know, these are things he loves and cares about. Um, and I think all of us, right, there are people who really don't care about mushrooms in this community and they just see it as a hustle. Um, but there's a lot of people that freaking love these mushrooms and they got every right to try to figure out how they can turn that into a living. That's what all other, right? I like talking to oh. people. I've been a salesman. So I used to be a salesman. Now I work in healthcare because I like interacting with people. Um, I think that's really, really key. It is okay to want to figure out how to, how to get paid doing what you love. Right. This just made me remember, I said in the chat earlier, uh, one good way to, to go about it the right way is to look at the farmer's markets in your area, because isn't that the way to get around needing a license, you know, like a food license and all of that? It's a farmer's market. So bring your fruits to the table. And right. I don't know, a lot of people can start that way because there's bakers that bring their cookies and they're not like licensed as a bakery because it's a farmer's market. Right. I think, you know, I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, well, there, there's many different avenues to go about it. <clears throat> when I had first started things out, I, I had an idea, too, of maybe about starting, like, uh, my own gourmet mushroom cultivation here and sell to the farmer's market, sell to the restaurants here. Like, I had that, that popped up in my head because um, when I had started doing the, the YouTube thing, I, it wasn't my full-time thing or anything. I, I was doing it as a right. side hustle. I worked a full-time job, so, similar to what 90s is doing at right now. And I always thought that, hey, if I want to go mycology full time, that's the way to go. But now I'm realizing that there's there's many other avenues of going about mycology that you don't right. always have to follow the, the set path that's already been there, has been established there by the uh, the commercial gourmet mushroom industry. Um, so, I mean, there, there's room there for sure, depending on where you live, the market, for you to be able to enter unfortunately for me around philadelphia there, there's already some big name uh producers here especially uh kenneth square being the mushroom capital of the united right. states it's only like two hours from from where i'm at so trying to get into that game is a little bit hard and i i've talked to uh, people in the area about it too i i've had some chats with uh, mike tyson mushrooms he's in this area he's the king of lion's mane he's been doing this for a very long time and uh I mean, he, he will give people, I mean, if people want to try and go for it, definitely, you know, try. Uh, if you if you really want to do it and you, that's what you enjoy doing, give it a try. And, you know, if you fail, well, don't look at it as, as a complete failure. Just look at it as a learning experience. You, you, you tried and you get something out of it. It's not just a complete failure. You get experience out of it. And that experience will lead you to make better decisions that won't end up failing. Right. Yeah. Play the game. You want to get good at basketball, grab a ball, get on the court. 100%. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's only so much you could do yeah. to try and like wish it can happen, but you got to really got to. Or strategize beforehand. Yeah. Some people yes. can strategize way too much to the point where they get paralyzed of, of even starting because they're overwhelmed right. by the amount of things that you, you got to do. So just start it one thing at a time and take it one step at a time. And before you know it, you'll be able to start running. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these content creators, right. They have all their videos from, you know, going 10, 10, 12 years back. And, and you can watch that very first video. And it's, it's just like he said, you know, it was just like a kid with a phone and it was crude and it was barely watchable. And, uh, you know, maybe oh. there's a little bit of information in it. And then you flat, flash forward 10 years and there, you know, it looks like as good, if not better than anything you can see on any network TV show. You know, the, the guy's got a, a multi-million dollar studio that just shows you, right, that that, that dedication and persistence uh, is, is the key. And, and for the people who only want to grow mushrooms that think what we're talking about here doesn't apply and is a total waste of time, I promise you all this can be looked at as a metaphor for just growing the mushrooms. It's the same thing, right? Like th there's an advanced craft to this. 
you you can get a couple texts and be growing mushrooms real fast. Um, but man, all you got to do is all of a sudden get hit with some cobweb mold or some lipstick mold, or all of a sudden, why can't I get rid of trick out of my growth space? And now you need to have some more advanced cult cultivation practices, some more advanced techniques. This is all part of just paying the dues, putting in the time. So uh, all this stuff applies. And again, the podcast hits on some of these broader topics, right? The whole point is to uh, nurture and entertain and educate people who love to grow mushrooms. So that might some nights include talking about some of the stuff. It will all be in the description. Um, every episode you will have uh, an, the ability to read the description before the podcast to see if, if that's for you. I can't possibly fathom that uh, I, I could make a podcast that every single person in this community loves every single time. Um, it's just not how it's going to be. You're going to dislike some, some people I bring on sometimes. That's fine. Turn it off. Uh, that doesn't mean that you got to hate me and, and think that my, my podcast is garbage because the next week I might have one of your favorite guys on. Right. So the, that's the, <laughs> that's the beauty of a podcast is you go, Oh, right. I'm not going to like this episode and I've done this. I listen to a lot of podcasts while I'm driving my truck, loading and unloading my semi truck. I go, oh, this episode sucks, and I just skip it. Yeah. No big deal. I'm not leaving comments like, F this guy, F him, F F this person. I just skip right. it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's just unnecessary in general. But, yep, um, yeah, that's the deal. So that's how it's going to be. Of you, of you talking about the YouTubers where you go back and watch the original videos, and then you come back to what they're doing now. I brought this up in the chat a couple times. Is what what happened to Arvin forty seven? You everyone remembers him, right? Mm -hmm. Where did Who he else? go? That's I, a good. Ooh, that's a good podcast he's, episode. He's still around on on uh, Instagram for last I've seen. Are you sure it's really him? <laughs> All right, what? maybe that's nineties project. Yeah, I feel I gotta... like you're motivated. Is that really Arvin? I really want to know what happened to Arvin. All right. Well, uh, Northwoods Permaculture says he's still here. All right. So, tell him to call me. My phone number is, I'm just kidding, 9090 9090. All right, guys. Um, well, I love that you're doing the game show. Um, if anybody out there uh, has watched it and says, oh, I might be able to help out, reach out to the guys. Um, if anybody wants to be on it, reach out to the guys. Uh, ho hopefully, um, you know, it's going to just keep growing and getting better and be more fun and something to do on a Tuesday night. Um, uh, so shout out to PGT and 90 for getting that going. Really appreciate it. Uh, big shout out to the rookie mycologist, uh, Bass Drop Keys. Um, love this guy. Can't wait to see uh, him grow over the years. Um, it, it, it's just going to be wonderful. So. Anyway, and, and uh, you know, peep the game. If you are trying to make a living uh, and, and you see YouTube as, as a component of that, um, definitely a lot of knowledge, uh, a lot of core things uh, to listen to tonight. So, Real anyway, quick, Walmart, Walmart Muse asked, what is Rookie's IG? Since Rookie's not on the screen, uh, like you said, everything's in the description, but I just want to – just shout it out since yeah it's all here. all the all the socials are in the description for everybody including yeah. uh the new game show so yeah but uh you can find them on i think it's just the rookie mycologist on instagram so anyway uh all right guys uh well you know what let me just pull them back in oh 90 let's just pull them back just in popped in Oh shit! Yeah. What's up? Who, who oh, keys is back. My bad. I was just about to hit this joint. I ain't want. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, yeah, I just want to give you a chance to say goodbye to to you. Got a lot of fans in here tonight, so I thought. I'd put hey, I really. Up, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we hear you. I appreciate all you guys for having me. If you want to hit me up on Instagram, I am Bass Drop Keys, and just like Geeky said, the rookie mycologist. I appreciate y'all having me on, man. Thanks for the love. Oh yeah. All right, man. Uh, thanks to everybody tonight. Uh, great show. Sorry about the technical difficulties in the beginning, but but we 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 worked over it, so it's all good. All right, take care, guys. Yep. Right. See everybody later. Night,
All right, guys. So again, um, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, sorry about that technical difficulty in the beginning. Uh, next week uh, can go either way. I got a couple things lined up. We'll, we'll see how it's going to go. Uh, I am uh, likely going to start doing more pre-recordeds. Um, tonight is a great example of why that, that's a good idea. I can get everything in the can and uh, I'm not dependent on, on some of these uh, glitchy issues. There will still be a live chat component. I will still be involved in that. Um, it, it, the, just the content itself will be, you know, I'll just sit down with people as is convenient for their schedules. There have been a lot of people who are like, yeah, I'd be on your podcast, but, you know, 9 p.m. on a Monday, it's a little bit late for me. And uh, so anyway, I, I think this is going to open up a lot of opportunities for, for more, uh, more great guests to be on and uh, keeping a little more tight, a little more uh, polished, uh, a little more professional um, anyway. So yeah, that, that's, that's the plan going forward. Uh, there still will be some lives uh, here and there, um, but definitely looking to uh, get everything polished up a little bit more. So again, shout out Rookie Mycologist, PGT, 92nd Mycology, all their contacts are uh, in the description if you guys want to get a hold of them. Uh, to everybody that that uh, showed me uh, support tonight with super stickers and all that stuff, I really appreciate it, guys. I mean, like I said, you guys are going to be paying for my uh, new capture card uh, so, so we don't have that stuff happen in the future. Anyway, uh, love everybody. Take care. Uh, have a good weekend.